All right, well, I think we're live. If we're not live, I'm going to pretend I am anyway, so we're just going to go with it. Welcome. Welcome to another live stream. Uh, Report of the week, Saturday night live stream. Decided, what the heck. Going to do a live stream tonight. Going to give it a shot. Give it a uh, give it a try. Try it out. See what happens. And uh, we're just going to go for it. So here we are, just configuring a few things as we started out. Well, hopefully it's uh, it's working out, working out satisfactory. Anyway, I do these live streams pretty much on a monthly basis, um, maybe twice a month at most. And I, I decided to, to start doing these live streams really as just a way to kind of communicate with the, the viewer, the audience, you guys. Do a little bit of Q&A random talk, um, random discussion, you know, if there's anything on my mind to do, do that. Could also be a way, of course, to help out the channel, help support it with the, uh, the super chats and whatnot. But anyway, I try to do these about once a month, maybe twice a month, as I said, and just answer a couple questions, uh, you know, some, some comments, some miscellaneous talk. The big change that I made for tonight's live stream is in the chat. Uh, as you know, I usually do the slow mode for the, you know, for the live chat. And in the previous live streams that I've done, I had it set to 60 seconds per message. And I thought to myself, well, that should be good enough, right? You know, 60 seconds per message in the chat, that's, you know, that's great, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't cause any issues, right? Well, sure enough, I still couldn't even read the chat. It was going so fast, even with the the 60 second delay um, per per message. So I said, all right, you know, I'm going to try to set it up to uh, 100 seconds per message. Number one, to avoid spamming. Uh, and number two, so I could finally just actually look at the chat. And instead of seeing it going a mile a minute and it's almost indecipherable, um, try to just, you know, read some of your messages, uh, see what's... See what's going on. So, uh, here we are. Saturday, Saturday evening. For some, it's a Sunday. Early hours on Sunday, this, this Easter of 2018. Um, but no matter what day it is or whatever you're doing, hope you're having a good one. Hope this weekend's been going good for you. Hope this Easter has been going good for you, if it is Easter. And, uh, hope you just settle in, enjoy the live stream. I, myself, uh, I'm doing pretty good tonight. Really didn't have the uh, the chance to prepare too much for this live stream. I was thinking about it the other day. I was thinking about it yesterday. I was saying, you know, I'm probably going to do a live stream or something, maybe, maybe tomorrow night. But I really didn't have any sort of excessive planning going into it. You know, I was just thinking to myself, well, you know, maybe I'll, I'll set it up here and, and do this and that, etc., etc. But sure enough... I woke up about an hour ago, I got my Starbucks right here, only thing keeping me, keeping me energized, uh, the Starbucks, and uh, I said, no, nah, I'm just going to set it up here, change up the scenery a little bit, so you got the nice little exotic quilt behind me, uh, and art, and uh, hope you're enjoying the, the change up, going to get to your super chats in a, in a second. Going with my standard ensemble. I was feeling really cold today when I woke up, so I got a white shirt on, nice vintage silk tie, vest, and then a cardigan over the vest. Uh, so thank you all for your kind words about the sweater sitch, the sweater situation, as they say. And uh, all right, I see a couple of the super chats coming in, so uh, let's let's just get to them. Uh, if you do want to, you know, ask a question. Um, Kind of get a shout out, whatever it is. Uh, a fun way to do that, of course, is through the super chat, and it's also a way, of course, to support this channel. Uh, these are always uh, a lot of fun to do. And well, without further ado, let's just get to some of your super chats. Um, ye no, uh, thank you, thank you for your. You're the first super chat of the night. Thank you. Uh, Sequoia writes in good stuff. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Christopher, Christopher checking in. Can you review my music? Um, 
I guess he says I, I'm a SoundCloud, SoundCloud artist, maybe a SoundCloud rapper, but he didn't say if he is or isn't. I make chill beats for you, Review Bro. Well, um, I'll, I'll check it out, you know, send me your mixtape or whatever whatever you've got going on on the, the SoundCloud. And, uh, you know, if I, if I have the time, maybe I'll, I'll give it a listen. But thank you for your contribution. Um, Courtney checks in modern clothes for the day video. Uh, well, it depends on your definition of modern, you know. I mean, theoretically speaking, what I'm wearing right now, it's a little antiquated, yes, but it still is considered modern, you know, it's still, I mean, it still is, I mean, if you mean, if you mean, like, slim fit, like, full-blown slim fit suits, uh, it, that's just my personal, my personal choice. I don't do the whole slim fit thing, I mean, you can wear whatever you want, I, I, I don't care, um, but I, I personally prefer wearing the older cuts, the drapier suits, you know, the older style, um, clothing and whatnot, but again, it de depends on your definition of modern. If you define modern clothing as anything from 1899 onwards, then I am wearing modern clothing. Uh, if you define modern clothing as something from the 2010s only, well, yeah, then you got me. Well, maybe my shoes. My shoes might be from the 2010s, but there's no guarantee with that. Anyway, on to the next one. Let's see what we got. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Idaho Kylo. Just a little something. Much love, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, love the channel. Sorry for using ad block. Hopefully this will make up for it. Much love from Australia. Thank you very much. Thank you for your contribution, and... Uh, Hope everything's going well for you over in Australia. Kai, Kai checks in. What tie is that? Uh, this is a vintage silk necktie. Um, it is vintage, I know that. I don't really know the brand of it, but you could read it there. I don't know if you can even see that. That's the brand. This is a vintage tie, though, um, from many decades past, but it's a good one. Probably not quite, but it's one of my favorite ties. I like it. Good tie. I think it goes well with an ensemble like this. So, uh, anyway. That's the tie. Vintage one, though. Vintage silk. Um, casual unboxing. Check it in. Well, thank you very much for your generous contribution. It says, love the channel. Here's a show of support for you. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That's it, great. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a very happy Easter. Uh, let's see. Anna checks in. Hi, John. Dairy Queen has some good food. Why haven't you reviewed their food and ice cream? Much love. Happy Easter. I did review it once. I did review Dairy Queen, I believe it was once, um, back in 2016, I think it was. And I, I reviewed it. I wasn't very satisfied with the food. I tried it out. Well, wasn't a big fan of it. Wasn't a big fan of the food. I said, you know, the food could have been better. So... That's where that stood. Uh, the one thing, the ice cream, Dairy Queen does a pretty good job with the ice cream. Uh, I haven't any, any real complaints with that. But I can't consider myself a frequent Dairy Queen consumer. That's just, you know, that's just where that stands. Um, uh, no, I'm, you know, some people, what they try to do with the, um, with the Super Chats, as I'm sure many of you are aware... They try to go ahead and say, could you shout out so-and-so? And they act as if I'm not going to, uh, as, as if I'm, I'm too stupid to understand that the name they want me to shout out is some sort of uh, offensive or uh, insulting or racist slur. So, uh, no, I'm not going to shout that person out. And uh, deleted that. You could rescind your, your you know, whatever, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to shout any of that trash out. Um... Video on shortwave radios for beginners. Uh, you know, that might be something. That might be something to do going forward. I just worry about the, uh, in terms of shortwave radio. I mean, I, I would always love to promote the medium. That's what I tried to do in that video that I did. Um, I, forget, I forget the name. I was sitting there with the wing collar. Um, what I'm obsessed with. I really tried to make that a video based on shortwave radio. I just worry that if I were to make... A video on this channel exclusively about shortwave. 
uh, a lot of people just wouldn't like it. You know, I tried to do that back in 2014, and everyone hated it. Um, have things evolved in over four years? Who's to say? But I, uh, I just worry. So I try to do it slow and 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 steady. You know, but maybe maybe going forward, I'll try to incorporate that more in the channel. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's see what else we got. Uh, Luis checks in. Just take my money review, bro. Plans for Easter? No, I don't have any plans for Easter. Um, I'm just wishing all of you a happy Easter, really. I've got nothing for Easter. Um, you know, it's just Sunday. Um, but if any of you are doing anything for Easter, whatever it is, if you're getting a family get-together, um, being with family, friends, having a big Easter feast, I uh, hope it all works out good for you. I hope you have a pleasant Easter, a very happy one. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, Yup checks in. Something to help the channel. Thank you, Yup. Um, let's see what else we got. Mostafa, been meaning to ask this for a while. Why do you wait so long to eat your food? What's the average length of time between obtaining and reviewing the meal? I feel like most of the food is cold. Uh, you know, it all depends on the situation. A lot of the time nowadays, the food is fresh. Um, and it's usually not a span of anywhere longer than five minutes from obtaining the food and reviewing the food. At most, it's maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Um, but that's, you know, that's usually it. The good thing about doing the, the videos in the car is you're right there on scene. You know, you, you, you literally pick it up from the drive through get a get a good angle, you know, get a good shot. Got to make sure the lighting's on point, right? And then you could just go from there. Whereas otherwise, if you would have to take it home every time, yeah, you'd have a lot more colder food. Um, so it's always freshest in the car. But like the pizza reviews, for instance, you know, I try to just, I try to set everything up before I get the pizza. So then I could just really go in with the pizza while it's fresh, start it up. And uh, that kind of ensures quality, you can say, uh, as best I can. You know, of course, nothing, can, it's not going to be perfect, but I try to ensure it's, it'll be as fresh as it can be. Uh, Courtney checking in again, you should listen to Pink Floyd. I already do. Uh, I do listen to Pink Floyd. I even played some Pink Floyd pretty recently in one of the radio broadcasts. Um, it was some, some later Pink Floyd, too, I think from the 90s. Some progressive rock. Pretty good, though. Good stuff. Um, let's see what else. Sequoia checking in. Where do you get your suits from? Uh, it, it depends. I uh, Actually, Gabe, he's also checking in. He says, hope all's well. Any recent find in suits? This kind of goes hand in hand. Um, I haven't gotten any, any new suits recently. I'm just pretty content with what I have. Uh, you know, I have a bit of a, a, a wardrobe going, and I, I just don't really think it needs to to expand, you know. I, I think I'm just, I'm content with where it's at. You know, I'm content, uh, happy with where it's at. So no no real need to expand it. I haven't been looking for any any uh, new, new suits or anything. But when I was going and getting a lot of suits, they'd be from thrift stores. Um, where else? eBay. eBay, online sa uh, sellers, online retailers. Um... So one or one or the other, but I haven't gotten any 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 new maybe a few new ties here and there, but no no new new suits really. Uh, because again, I'm just happy with with things where they are. Uh, Simona checking in. Thanks for being you and thank you kindly. Uh, Jeremy, greetings from Canada. Review bar. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, donuts within a long string of numbers after the name. Hey, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Just waking up, starting the day off. Uh, Starting it off with a live stream, I said, what the heck? Uh, earlier, I was just planning on, on doing a live stream. So I set it up, and here we are. Just doing a little Q&A, just uh, a little a little miscellaneous talk, a little uh, miscellaneous chatter, a little miscellaneous chattering. And, uh, you know, that's where that stands. Cam the Cam Man Cam. Uh, your vids are my favorite to watch on LSD. Well, that's good to know. Uh, g glad, glad they're your favorite. It's, it's, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm honored. Uh, that dude, 321, um, 
Yo, I love you so much and this channel. Thanks for everything you do. And give my boy Steve a shout out. He's in the Air Force fighting for you and only you. Well, uh, all right. A big shout out to Steve in the Air Force. Um, and thank you for your, your contribution. <clears throat> Robert Jackson. Next person checking in. Review bra mixtape. The mixtape's out. Uh, the the mixtape's already out. If you've seen the, the, the random clips video, you saw the moment when my mixtape came out. If you haven't, you know, check it out. Um, but you saw the actual moment when I released the mixtape. Uh, there was, you know, there was this little canal. It's not really a river. More, more or less a canal. And there's a drawbridge, right? And sometimes with these canals, the, the bridge has to go up if there's a larger boat or a sailing vessel passing underneath it, obviously. So the bridge went up, and the, the boat started passing under it. And the boat passed under the bridge. And then the bridge went down. And the mixtape came out. Uh, helpful Duckling checking in. Take my money as a big thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for your contribution. Um, Kyle, he's checking in. Can you wish David B. a happy birthday? Absolutely. Happy birthday, Mr. David B. Happy birthday to you. Um, Taylor, Taylor checking in. Can we, can we literally be friends? Uh, I genuinely enjoy you. Uh, thank you. Uh, all, all, all of you on YouTube, Barbara. Are the, are the YouTube, the YouTube crew, the YouTube friends. Um, anyway, let me get this going here. Let's see what else we have here. Um, any good books you could recommend? Well, this one's a big read, but uh, House of Leaves by Mark Danielewski. That's a good one. Um, very, very complex book. I'm not saying it's going to be for everyone. It's not for everyone, granted. Uh, some people are going to be completely lost in it, um, and it could be overwhelming for others, uh, but it was a book that I enjoyed a lot, and, uh, I would recommend it, check it out if, if you're interested, um, but it's a book that's extremely layered, has many, many twists and turns to it, and, uh, well, that's my, that's my book recommendation for now, but that could last you a while, I'll tell you that. Uh, this guy wants me to review his name. No, thank you. I'm not going to repeat that word in the stream. So I removed that one. Uh, Tom, thank you for your contribution. Uh, you know, checking in again. Drop the mixtape. Mixtape's out. It's out. It's been out for a while. Um, Lone Wolf 98 can give a shout out to my brother, Jose. Great videos of you, bro. Shout out to Jose. Uh, shout out to all of the, the people, Jose out there. Anyone without, with that name out there, you got a shout out now. Um, Christopher won't let me send the link. How, well, you could email me. Email, comment. Um, there's plenty of ways you can get it. You could send me a message on YouTube if you really want to drop the SoundCloud mixtape that you want to promote. Um, so there's many ways you can reach me. Many, many ways. Uh, Travis Varnum checking in. Can you please approve my petition to review, to to refer to your fan base as the re review brethren? We need it canonized. Well, I can't approve it right now. It's under review. This is something that I need to put a lot of thought into. Forty-eight hours minimum. Uh, I'll have to put myself in a dark room. Maybe light a couple candles for ambiance. And uh, just kind of think it over for a while, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a couple hours, however long it takes. Um, but it's under review. Uh, no guarantees, I'm afraid. Gerard Way checking in. Thank you very much for your contribution. Uh, Patrick, will you review any of your favorite films in the future? Would love to see your thoughts on film. Uh, I'm trying to expand the horizons of this channel. Film reviews, you never know. You never know. 
could be there. Just did the uh, the music review, really. Uh, did that the other day. So, you know, film reviews, you never know. I, I try to expand this channel, do a little bit of everything. And this is something that I've been addressing for a while. Something that I've been trying to do for a while. And uh, something that I'm going to continue to try to do for a while. The This channel... I started it out as a food review channel, and it had been a food review channel for quite some time. And what I've been trying to do as of late is diversify it a bit, uh, because I, I don't mind doing the food reviews. The food reviews are, are something I enjoy, um, something I have a lot of fun with, but it's not the only thing I want to do with this channel. Uh, I, I want to do other things with it, you know, I, I want to make random videos, I want to do these live streams, can do, um, maybe someone suggested, like, like, music type reviews, that'd be, um, or movie reviews, sorry, that might be something to consider, um, random talks, the music thing, all that stuff, as I said, I just want to, uh, diversify this channel, make it a little bit of everything, and one thing I gotta realize is, is you can't please everyone, you know? You can't please everyone. You're not going to be able to please everyone. Uh, you know, I saw that the other day where a few people, they were kind of upset. They were saying, you know, why, you know, why aren't you just doing food reviews only? I hate this channel now, you know. You, I only wanted to see you do the food. Well, you know, I haven't changed any. I'm still going to be doing the food reviews here and there. I just want to do a few different videos too. I just want to diversify the channel a bit. And with anything, you know, of course, there's going to be a few people that are dissatisfied by it, um, but, but, you know, things just change, and as I said, the food reviews are still going to be coming, they're still going to be here, um, still going to be reviewing some of the latest and greatest releases, but I try to diversify it too, I want to do some other videos too, I want to do these live streams like so, want to talk about whatever's on my mind, do some casual videos, all that, that's just what I want to do, that's just my plan for the channel, that's where I'm going to take it, but you know, the people who think that I'm getting rid of the food reviews entirely, it's not going to happen. They're, they're going to be, they're still going to be continuing on. All I'm saying is that it's not going to be 100% food reviews. It, it hasn't been for, for about four or five months at this point, but, you know, I guess it takes time for it to really sink in and become extremely noticeable. Anyway, a few more. Um, let's see what we got going on. Uh, the real Chris G checking in. Great content. Thank you kindly. Um, Connor he he Heckler. Shoot out to Creel Plays. LOL. Shout out. Uh, Sabrina checking in, love the channel, one of my favorites, thank you kindly. Um, please excuse the username, just wanted to say really enjoy the content, take care, thank you. Um, Caitlin S checking in, uh, just started watching your videos a few weeks ago, love the videos, thank you kindly. Um, OS checks in, hello again, in your opinion, um, let's see, what is the most concerning thing facing today's society? Uh, well, one thing that bothers me greatly is just all the all the hatred and and and, and vitriol that exists that's that's in the air today uh, you know i i understand things can certainly be a lot worse but you know everything nowadays has to be you know everything is used for conflict in one way or another maybe it's not you know physical fighting but it could be fighting through words you know online Discussions, you know, they end up not being discussions anymore. They're just fights. You know, there's just so much... I don't know, I think people just take things. There's just so much hatred and vitriol in the air. And I just wish people were able to treat each other with, with more respect at this point. You know, more more dignity, more love and kindness. But that's just my, my two cents, you know. I think if people started maybe doing that more, we might get a few solutions to a lot of the other problems that plague us nowadays. Who's to say, right? Anyway, that's just my thoughts. Sometimes a solution like that might end up to a few other solutions, but 
you know, when you ask such a large amount of people, you're going to get a bit of everything. You're going to get people that will completely disagree, and they're going to say, no, the only way to get things solved is through this and that. But, uh, you know, everyone has their own, and is entitled to their own opinion, but I think people at least would be able to, at least I wish people would share them in a more civilized manner and just get along with each other, but that's my, that's my, uh, my thoughts. Um, Rutherford B. B. Hayes, uh, what are, are all your weekly radio broadcasts live? Uh, the shows on Thursdays are live, repeated on Sundays. So, like, if you have nothing going on tomorrow on Easter, you're saying, you know, I'm not doing anything for Easter... Or maybe you are. Maybe you're going to have an Easter dinner with your family or whatever. And you say, you know, I'm just going to annoy all my relatives and pull out the shortwave radio at the dinner table and just blast this, you know, sucker at top volume while everyone else is trying to enjoy their their uh, their Easter feast. Um, then you could tune into my repeat broadcasts on the shortwave tomorrow afternoon. 93, 95 kilohertz, 4 p.m. on the East Coast. Uh, then 5 p.m. 77, 80 kilohertz, and 94, 55 kilohertz. So maybe the 5 p.m. one might work out for you. Uh, maybe, especially if you're in the Northeast, could sit there, just pull out the shortwave radio while everyone's eating their Easter dinner, and just crank it up, 77, 80 kilohertz, uh, get that VORW shortwave game going, you know, during the Easter dinner, and, uh, and just do what you gotta do. But... Anyway, I have those those repeat airings every Sunday. Okay, all right, let's see what else we got. Um, hey, checking in. Uh, check out the band Fish, uh, like the song Ghost. Thank you. Yeah, someone recommended that band to me about uh, about about a year ago. I checked them out. They're pretty they're pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't didn't have uh, have any issue. I, I always like listening to all sorts of, of music. All right. What else do we have going? Uh, any plans to review food in other countries? The Canadian A and W teen burger combo is the best bang for your buck. Shout out from one internet friend to another. Uh, as as I always say to these questions, I kind of get this question a lot um, during um, during the live streams, where people say it's it's usually either travel to another country or review food in another country. And my my answer to that is you never know what the future holds. I myself am more of a stationary person, um, but you never know what the future holds. Who's to say? You know, I I don't know. Maybe a month from now I'll, I'll somehow find myself in, in Canada and I'll, I doubt it, but, but I might be. So you never know. You never know what the future holds. I'm not going to just cross it off the list and say, yeah, it's not going to happen. You never know. Um, the door is open. It's possible. We'll just wait and see, right? Uh, Jenna checking in. Thank you for your contribution. Greetings review, bro. Was having a rough night. Was about to rewatch your videos and I got the notification. It was as if you answered my prayers. Also, what are your thoughts on Muse? They're my favorite. Uh, oh yeah, Muse is great. Um... Again, I, I played, I played a Muse, I think, yeah, it was Muse, one of their songs in, uh, my most recent broadcast. It was, uh, I think it was from their 2006 album. I don't remember which song it was, but it was good. My favorite song of theirs is probably one of their bigger hits, Madness, um, which I think was released in 2011 or 2012. Uh, that was my favorite one. My favorite part of that song was the guitar solo. Um, kind of reminded me of, uh, was it Robert Fripp? I, I don't know who, maybe that was, anyway, it kind of, I think that's the person who I'm thinking of. Reminded me of him stylistically, um, but I enjoyed that piece. All right, let's see what else we've got going on. Um, Ben checking in. Can you give my friend Bree a shout out? All right, big shout out to her. Um. Becca checking in, made my day, I'm procrastinating from writing a music advocacy newsletter, hope you're doing well, oh yeah, doing pretty good, uh, good enough to do a live stream and having some fun, having some fun just answering your questions and, uh, as I said, just, uh, just having a good time this evening, 
let's see what else we've got going on here. Um, let's see. Andy, Andy's checking in. Uh, I'd love if you could review my band, Andronicles, which just released an EP in January. Uh, it's on Spotify, iTunes, and other music networks. Love your stuff. Thank you. It's crazy. Uh, it, it's crazy. Ever since I did the music thing, I've been getting these emails now. Legitimately, I mean, I thought the whole thing... Here, Here's the truth. I thought the whole thing when people talk about, you know, the mixtape, right? Like, I dropped my mixtape. Uh, I released my mixtape. Can you check out my mixtape? My mixtape is on fire, etc., etc., um, I thought it was a, a, a meme, you know, I thought, and it, it, it is a meme, you know, but I thought it was something that was only in the realm of jokes, you know, I thought it was something that was just, just used as jokes and no one actually did that, but ever since I did the music review, I've actually had people start sending me emails saying, I have this mixtape, can you review it, and they attached, like, literally 25, 30 tracks as mp3 attachments to this email and i must have got about a dozen of those emails from different people so far and i'm shocked i was sitting there last night i remember i was thinking my gosh i can't believe this is actually real i thought this was just just a, a, a meme or something but no it's a real thing people actually i mean they're, they're the full-blown committed to the mixtapes and uh that's crazy again i just thought that was something that was as just like a big joke but it's, it's completely legit. It kind of took me off guard because everyone just does it jokingly. You know, mixtape this, my mixtape that. You know, mixtape, mixtape, mixtape. It's on fire. But it's it's real. I was so shocked. It was like... It, it was as though everything I had ever known about that uh, was suddenly disproven. And it was just a, a, a huge awakening, Should I should say. Alright, enough about that. Let's just get back to some of the super chats here. Uh, Austin L. Been a viewer since 2016, 50k to 876k. Yeah, it's, oh, it's crazy. So crazy how it's grown like that. Um, but no matter how big or small the channel is, I'm still going to be here. Still going to, uh, to, be, to be continuing onward, onward and forward. The way I see YouTube growth is like it's a sine wave. I was saying this again in my broadcast... It, it, it's just like a, uh, a a sine wave, you know? It goes up and down and up and down and up and down, and it undulates. You have your peaks, you have your lows, then it might go back up again, then it might go back down again, and, you know, that's just the natural cycle of it all. Um, it goes up, it goes down, that's just how it is, and that's all right. You know, I don't have any plans on, on uh, leaving the... Uh, you know, leaving the platform or shutting anything down. I'm just going to be, uh, you know, keeping it on as I have been. Only only plan I really have, as I've been saying, is just to, uh, you know, diversify the channel more, as I have been. I uh, still do a couple reviews here and there, but also do some miscellaneous talks, some live streams like I'm doing now, some some random videos, etc. Uh, but just, just keep it going. That's my plan. If I ever have the chance, expand the radio broadcast, really want to start a shortwave service to Africa soon. Um, I just need to find a good transmitter site to do it because in Africa, shortwave listenership is the highest in the world over there. And uh, it'd be great if I could provide at least some form of my content, that being the shortwave broadcast, to some of the listeners over there and, uh, you know, share it with them. But you know, I just, I need to find a good transmitter site that'll lease out an hour of airtime for that, and I've been having some trouble with that. You've got these sites in Germany and France that overcharge you. There's a site in Bulgaria that I might go with, but they're a bit, um, again, I just need to look and gauge, gauge the efficacy before I invest in anything. Uh, Kenneth Thompson, checking in, you're the Bob Ross of this generation, my friend. Well, thank you for your kind words. I, I, I don't think I am, but th thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Alpha 101, let the secret out. What hair products are you using? Well, it's not a secret. Uh, I use Brill Cream. Uh, also use uh, this thing called Water, too, um, which is pretty crazy. 
sometimes I'll just go in, I'll cup my hands, I'll just fill it with water, I'll just dump it on my hair, you know, I don't really care. If it gets all over my shirt, it's water, it'll evaporate. But I kind of do that when I wake up, I'll just dump a bunch of cold water on my hair, um, you know, which is, it's a good way to kind of just press it down um, so I can mold it, style it better, and also use a little less um, brill cream and keep keep that going better. But I've started doing that over the last few months, and that's been working out good. Anyway, what else do we have here? When will you collaborate with Anthony Fantano? Uh, actually, I kind of... I don't know how many of you know this, but I was on Mr. Fantano's uh, podcast, the, the Needle Drop podcast, back in 2015. So I have already had a, you know, a, a direct exchange with him. I was on the phone, I, I, I chatted it up with him, um, and was there, uh, probably talked for a good hour. It's still on YouTube, you could find it. So, in a way, uh, in that sense, there already was a video where we were both right there. Um, but again, for anything further, you never know what the future holds. Okay, thank you for that. Um, Samuel checking in. Let's see what he... Please consider doing Disney World food reviews. Uh, that might be something to do. The one thing about uh, Disney food is that it's a little overpriced for what it is. Um, but a little, little bit overpriced. You know, that's pretty much everything at Disney. I remember there was this one place, uh, pizza, pizza shop. I think it was in Epcot. And I couldn't believe it, like, for a, a large pizza, they were charging you 40 bucks. And I couldn't believe it. It was so crazy how overpriced it was. Uh, but, you know, that's, you know, they, they make their money. I'll tell you that. They make their money. They make tons and tons of it. I'll tell you that. Uh, let's see what else. Valerie checking in. You need a velvet jacket. Um, do you have any other survival items? And have you read Herman Hess, the cover of Demi, and reminds me of you? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't uh, read any of their works. Uh, well, it depends on what you mean by survival items. I mean, really anything could be considered a survival item um, when, when push comes to shove, you know. I've got my water right here. That's a survival item. I've got my shortwave radio, that's a survival item, you know, um, what, what else do I have, I've got, I've got this box, that could be a survival item, you know, you need to, you're, you're, you know, you're fighting through your life, you could hit someone with this box, mm. I've got some uh, cat treats, uh, you know, I could eat those if I really needed to. Uh, so, uh, you know, anything and everything can be a uh, survival item. Certainly can be. Uh, let's check out a few more. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, Malleable Tick checking in. Love the channel. Just wanted to say if you're ever in Japan, try out some of the drinks from there. Uh, they have a spring theme where everything's a secure flavor. It's delicious. Thank you. Thank you for your suggestion. Um, Lauren checking in, can you give a shout out to me and my boyfriend Ryan, absolutely shout out to the two of you, um, just Jason, uh, checking in, big shout out to you, um, let's see, Anthony D, review bro, one question regarding those that question you or your channel, um, who are they to question God? Be well, man, boy, watching you navigate life. Uh, well, they're just regular people, and they have every right to. People are entitled to their opinions, and, uh, you know, I, I, I never expect all the feedback to be to be positive. Uh, people are going to have their complaints and their grievances, and uh, as I was just saying earlier, in my move to diversify the channel, I've run into some people that have said they, they, they only want to see the food reviews and they don't like the random videos. 
Uh, and, and, you know, as I said, you can't please everyone. You're not always going to get positive feedback on everything. And that's okay. That's just how it is. You know, that's just how it is naturally. That's all right. You know. Uh, Unforgiven118, huge fan of you, bro. Thank you. Um, new fun sandwich. Best Metacritic rock album reviewed in several months. Hot Snakes by Jericho Sirens needs a review, bro. Review. Well, let's not uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves there. But you never know what the future holds. Um, Forrest Leonard checking in. I lost that one. Well, you've been shouted out anyway. Um, all right, a few more. Let's see what we've got. Um, Jude. Checks in your national treasure. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Animation Wiz, would you ever become a professional food critic? No. No, it's, you know, that's not, that's not my calling. Um, that's just not my calling. And uh, I'll still do the food reviews, but I, I'm not going to be on Food Network. That's just where, that's just where that stands. Um, Oh, yeah, yep, uh, Gorgeous Roddy Chrome. First off, thank you for being with the channel so long. I know you've been with us for, for many years. You've been a big supporter of it, probably for at least four years now, so it's great to have you still with us here. Thank you for your support. And uh, anyway, he writes, uh, Jack White posted your video on his official Facebook page. He titled it, The Only Review That Matters. How cool is that? Congrats. Review. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is, it's amazing. It's one of those things I never even expected to see. It's the last thing I thought I was going to see. Uh, so it's just, it's surreal, you know? It's, it's like, I can't believe I did this video. And he, he posted that on his on his page. That's crazy. You know, that's that's so crazy. Uh, Jacob, Jacob checking in. Big fan, thanks for streaming tonight. Couldn't find anything to watch. What kinds of movies do you like? Uh, I like watching horror movies, really. Uh, the, the scary stuff, you know? Uh, not, not that a lot of it really does uh, scare me. You know, some of the movies I like watching because they can be interesting to analyze. Like the, the, the horror films that I, I say are so Hollywood-ized that rely exclusively on jump scares and, bl you know, blood, guts, and gore, etc. Uh, haven't much appeal to me, um... But it's the ones that are more situationally based uh, that can be very intriguing, can be a bit scary, and also can be more fun to watch and, and analyze as well. All right, anyway, continuing on, uh, A-Bomb1980 checking in. Can you shout out Megan, Matt, and Abby in Little Shoot, uh, Wisconsin? Also, thanks for all your content. Absolutely shout out to all of you, to the, to the crew over there. Um, let's see what else we have. Kyle checking in. Uh, great reviews. Appreciate the dedication and expertise. Um, would you ever consider going meta and reviewing a previous review of something? Uh, well, that depends. Do you mean re-reviewing a product or re-reviewing a review that I did previously? Because if it's just doing a re-review of a product, I've done that before. I did that years ago with Monster Energy Drink where I, uh, where I, because uh, I felt, that was the second video I ever made for Monster Energy Drink. It was back in 2011. And at the time, I wasn't very, um, I, I, I wasn't as descriptive, I suppose. You know, I didn't really know what to say. I kind of got caught up. And I was thinking, this was back, this is seven years ago. I was thinking, it tastes good, but I was at a loss otherwise. I didn't know what to say. So, I kind of found myself stuck. A few years ago, I decided to redo that drink because I said, well, maybe going forward I can just try and, and redo it and maybe do a better job at it. So I already did that, if that's what you're asking. I re-reviewed a product. But if you mean, like, reviewing an actual video and sit there and watch the, the silly thing and say, well, there I am. Oh, there I am walking to the camera. Ooh, I'm going with the gray suit today. I mean, I, well, you, you just gave me an idea for something, I suppose. Uh, let's see what else. Grace, she's checking in. Happy Easter to you. 
Um, have you had any interesting dreams lately? No, no interesting dreams lately. Um, the, you know, here's the one thing about dreams. I've been trying to catalog them and, you know, try to remember them more. But I always fall into this trap where I wake up and I sit there and I think to myself, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, the dream is so vivid right now. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna remember this one. Um, and then sure enough, I forget it like 15 minutes later. But if I have any, uh, if I have any interesting dreams, I'll certainly, uh, certainly, certainly bring them to, uh, to note. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, oh yes, the good old Toot Magoot checking in again. Great to have you back. Um, Zoo Boo checking in. <laughs> Review bra have to leave. Have a good night. Have a good night as well. Uh, Rest well. Have a happy Easter. Um, let's see what else. Uh, bread crust. Bread crust. Good old bread crust checking in. Uh, super appreciative of your channel. I still remember my first review video where you reviewed water. I thought you were joking, but you're honestly one of the best creators on this platform. Thank you very much for your kind words. Uh, most appreciated. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, Jonathan, Jonathan checking in, happy to support an upstanding and enjoyable YouTuber, stay dapper, thank you very much, uh, let's see what else we have, uh, Maria, she's, she's writing in, hi review bro, hope you're doing well, been watching you for years, could you give a shout out to Carlos, we love all your content, absolutely big shout out to Carlos, shout out to you, uh, Travis checking in again, um, Updates on a Hot Ones collab. No updates so far. No updates. Uh, hey, review bro, love the content. Are you into video games? And if so, which franchises or consoles are you particularly fond of? Uh, have you any positive memories of them growing up? Um, in terms of video games... The only one I play at this point is Mini Clip 8 Ball Pool. Uh, T R O T W official on Mini Clip. That's uh, that's my my pool username. If you want to challenge me to pool, you know I don't care. You can go for it. I'm not online 24/7, but you know I I, I like uh, I like playing the Mini Clip pool. It's something that I do in phases. So I'm not on it 24/7. I don't play all the time, but I've been enjoying that lately. Uh, I always do the. Um, uh, the Las Vegas one, um, which is, you, you bet 10,000 uh, pool coins to play it, and you call the pocket on all the shots, and that's fun because you have to put a little bit more thought into it than the other ones, and you have to really pay attention to what you're trying to get in and where, etc. Uh, so that's enjoyable. I have a lot of fun doing that. Um, when I was younger, though, I did play video games. I, I really stopped playing them uh, about... Uh, again, about seven years ago, because I, uh, you know, I'm just no no appeal. But I respect, you know, if you play video games, doesn't doesn't bother me any, you know. You can, you know, if that's what brings you enjoyment, you know, that's fine. Back when I played video games, played GameCube, played uh, PS2. That was about it. So I always enjoyed the. The Pikmin, Pikmin games, um, Star Wars, the original Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, not the new one, the original ones, um, Super Smash Brothers Melee, um, Zelda Ocarina of Time, um, Super Mario Sunshine, that's some classic right there, um, what else? What else? What were some other what, what were some other good games that I played in my childhood? Um, some of the Ace Combat Flight Simulator games. Those were fun. Those were a lot of fun. Um, there's many more. Um, Lost Kingdoms one and two. Those two were good. They were pretty solid. Um, yeah, there's many more. Many, many more, of course, if I really... There was some NHL hockey game that I tried to play, but I wasn't a fan of it at all. Um, all right. Anyway, on to some more, some more questions. Uh, 
Extreme Philly Fishing checking in. Uh, keep doing what you do. Love your videos and your personality. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to you. Thank you very much for your contribution. Um, and thank you so much for your support. Um, let's see what else. Um, Jessica checks in. Have you, you've seen review bra Facebook fan pages, but have you seen the Tumblr ones? Like review bra things and I love review bra. Also, I became a patron. Thank you for your Patreon support. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes I'll check them out. Usually I don't search up my, this is what I used to do. I used to really try and, you know, check up on the channel and see what's going on with that, but I don't really do that anymore, but uh, I'm aware of some of the fan pages, but I don't really check them out too much, but I, I used to, especially back in 2014, used to check out the Tumblr ones. Um, sometimes I'll still check them out, you know, here and there, but, uh, you know, nowadays I just, I just do what I do with the channel. Usually keep it confined to, uh, to YouTube, because one thing that I've realized, and I came to this realization back in 20, was it 2015 or 20, 2016, is that if you keep trying to look and look and see what other people are saying about you, you know, you're going to find a lot of bad stuff. You're going to find people that just hate your guts and are just going to be saying this and that, and it could be one heck of a down or so. I just mostly just, you know, keep it to YouTube. I just, you know, I do what I do on YouTube, and maybe I check the Twitter, and I check the, um, the Reddit, and, um, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't do, I don't do the whole Facebook thing. Um, what's another big thing that's popular nowadays? The, uh, Discord. I don't do that, but, uh, you know, I mean, every so, so on and so forth, I'll check stuff out, but mostly I just keep it to, uh, to this, those platforms. Let's see what else we got going on. Um, ignore the name. I use my band's channel for YouTube. Anyway, I was wondering if you would ever consider going on the official podcast An episode with you would be the most ambitious crossover event. Um, well, you never know. You never know what the future holds. Um, let's see what else. Tom checking in. Taco Bell is dis di uh, discontinuing their nacho fries. I find this very disconcerting. Why are they constantly removing popular menu items? It's inferior. Well, it's business. Uh, that's that's business. That's how it is. That's how it that's how it works. Because here's how it is. I'm sorry if I'm sitting back and all of a sudden I look like I'm barely on the camera, but I'm kind of. I want to just get comfortable. The way it works in this world of, of fast food business, they will, you know, it's all about making money. It's all about making as much as they can in the shortest amount of time possible. So the primary means to do so is to get something that the people love, you know, like the nacho fries. I was a huge campaign uh, I would wager my favorite thing from Taco Bell at this point, uh, though I do enjoy the Baja Blast as well. And they'll they'll promote it out. They'll do a real good job at it. They'll get everyone everyone sucked in, you know, everyone's all in for it, and then bam, they get rid of it. And they're going to be wondering, well, why why are they, uh, you know, why did they do that? Why did they get rid of such a good thing? Why? Because when they re-release it. They're going to get people coming back tenfold because they're going to be so interested in coming back to try this thing that's been re-released. Uh, it's just going to lead to mass profits in the future. Whereas if they kept this thing and they just kept it on the menu permanently, it'd peak there and then it'd slowly start going down and down and down because people get comfortable with it. Uh, people get satisfied with it. They, they feel, all right, it's not going anywhere. I don't feel any sort of time pressure to get it. Um... So, you know, that's why they discontinue it. Maybe a year from now or so, so on, they'll bring it back. And then, boom, trust me, sales of it are going to just go up so much. That's why they do that. Uh, sometime also, though, of course, the cost to make it uh, is, is more than the price that they're selling it for. So, it you know, that's an issue, too. But, I mean, they're fries. They're pretty cheap, so I have my doubts with that. 
All right. Uh, John, checking in. Thanks for everything you've given us, viewers of you, bro. Any non-food things you've never reviewed, which you might be planning on reviewing in the food, uh, the future. Um, having one of those. Well, you know, pretty much anything. I mean, anything that uh, that that comes to mind. I mean, again, as I said, I can, if I wanted to, one day I can review this box. You know, review the box. I can do, you know, I can review the bow tie that's inside the box. Or I can, get this, I can review the pocket watch that's inside the box. Or I can review anything. I could do a shortwave station review. The possibilities are endless. Um, so... You never know. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, can you send a shout out to uh, Juliana and Kapla? All right, shout out to the two of you. Um, review bro, love the channel. Seem like a great guy. Please consider reviewing vegan food as you diversify your channel. Um, yeah, certainly, certainly. Uh, I think this was brought up maybe one or two streams ago. Certainly something that can, uh, you know, happen going forward. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, believe it or not, I've got these. Hold on. Oreo Thins lemon cookies right here. These are vegan, believe it or not. You might see that. You might be thinking, you know, how is that vegan? But they just happen to be so. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing, um, but they are they're they're they actually are vegan. But I I know what you mean. I know what you mean in terms of that. Um, but again, the possibilities are endless. So uh, you never know. Benjamin Ward checking in. Hey mate, how old are you? Is it impolite to ask? No, not at all. Uh, I'm in my twenties. In my twenties, um, a, a lot of people they they bring up various uh, age claims. They say, you know, that I might have been born in, uh, you know, maybe the 1890s, so maybe I'm in my 120s, um, which I'm, I'm not, but, you know, you could pretend I am. Uh, some people think I'm maybe seven years old, uh, which I'm afraid I'm not, um, but that's about how old I am, B between seven and 120, I guess, maybe 125, 127. Uh, all right, let's see what else we got going on here. Luke, uh, check out Animal Collective. Well, uh, I really don't know what that is first, so uh, I need to know what that is first. I would presume that to be music. Um, yeah, it is. Experimental pop band formed in Baltimore, Maryland, 2003. Thank you for your suggestion. Therefore, just look that up real quick. Uh, yeah, I'll give them a check. Check them out. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Lots and lots of super chats coming, so I'm trying my best. Trying my best to just get them. Uh... If I donate a hundred dollars, will you play slash record some Fortnite? No, I won't. I I don't understand the obsession with uh, with that. It's one of those things that uh, I I don't get. You know, I don't understand it. I don't. Uh... It's 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 again. It's like one of those things, like the whole mixtape thing. I mean that I understand how it became a, a big meme, but I, I don't under, I don't understand the thing with Fortnite. Um, maybe that's just because I don't I don't play video games, you know, aside from eight ball pool uh, and and a little solitaire here and there. But uh, I don't understand what's going on with the whole Fortnite thing. I I don't understand why. Why people are so obsessed with that now? It's like what it's what everyone talks about now. Fortnite, you know, Fortnite. Play some Fortnite. The Fortnite LMFAO. Uh, you know, I don't understand. I, I don't understand it. It's one of those things that just goes over my head. I just don't get it because, uh, you know, maybe I'm just not too, uh, too, too, too big into the, uh, the, the 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 gaming culture. So I don't, you know, I don't understand that. But uh, no, I'm not gonna play that. Uh, Brian checking in. Where did you adopt your elegant vernacular from? 
Uh, did you just enjoy learning, or did you have any formal education before doing your YouTube career? Um, well, in terms of, if, if it is in regards to um, my, my manner of, of speech, uh, well, it's really, it's just how I, how I talk. And I enjoy looking up new words. I like, uh, you know, I like looking up new words, uh, new, new definitions, um, you know, just, uh, just new vocabulary, and I try to apply them where applicable. And that's also something that I enjoy doing. That's where that stands. And, uh, you know, that's where, uh, that's where that is. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I always try to, I, I always try to pronounce people's names as best I can, but I know I, I mess up sometimes. Uh, you mispronounced my name, I'm still grateful for the shout-out. Um, oh, okay, it's pronounced Jashan. Is that correct? Jashan. Jashan. Jason with an H in the middle. Jashan. I'll learn. I'll learn. I'm, I'm, I'm ever learning, so forgive me. Um, but please, now I'm going to make a, an effort to try to shout it out as best I can. I try to do that, you know, with the, the broadcast and everything. Whenever I'm shouting out listeners or with the live streams, etc. I always try to pronounce people's names as best I can. And I could never give a 100% guarantee that your name will be pronounced correctly, uh, but I always try, and I always, you know, if I mispronounce it, understand that, you know, I'm never doing that intentionally, you know, it's, you know, I'm just never perfect, and I'm always trying to work to, to do it as best as I can. All right, um, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Do you listen to any rap? Maybe some Travis Scott? Uh, yeah, I was listening to some rap the other day. Listened to some song by uh, Eminem. Um, this is going old school, but I listened to a song by him uh, called Mom's Spaghetti. Uh, the official video. Uh, I listened to that about ten times the other day. And that one's pretty uh, pretty good. Um, so I listened to that. Mom's Spaghetti by Eminem. All right. Let's see what else. Caleb. Uh, thanks to you, found my favorite frozen pizza, Screamin' Sicilian. I tried that once. Uh, it was pretty good. A little pricey, but I remember with at least the pepperoni one, uh, they gave you a lot of pepperoni. A lot of pepperoni. Good pizza, though, but, you know, a little pricey. But for a frozen pizza, you're certainly getting... You're getting the toppings on that one. When it comes down to frozen pizza, usually I'm a freschetta consumer. Uh, sometimes Red Baron. When I really have nothing else there, I'll go DiGiorno. Uh, but Scream and Sicilian, they're pretty good. Uh, Emily, she's checking in. Thank you for your contribution. Um, let's see what else we have. Let's see what else. Sometimes what I do is I just, you know, when people ask me to shout out certain certain things, um, I know people try to get, a, you know, whatever, um, please say happy Easter to Landis Blair, well, happy Easter, uh, I'm afraid I don't know who you are, so, you know, let's see what else we got, would you ever review edibles, uh, well, that's all that I review. Edible food. <laughs> uh, Brad, thank you. Thank you for your support. Um, Dan, checking in. Have my children and we can rule the world. Uh, uh, again, just like, just like the... Uh, I will... I will... I will take it into consideration, but... Uh, no guarantees there. Uh, oh, oh boy. Uh, now he's really got, yeah, no thanks, no thanks, Dan, uh, yeah, no thank you. Boy, he's going nuts tonight. He's, uh, I'm just going through the, the, um, the super chats right now, this Dan, this Dan guy, he's just going, he's going all out, oh boy. Yeah, alright, no thank you there. 
at first I saw the one message, and then I'm scrolling down, and he's just going all out, this and that, and just do this, do it. Yeah, no thank you. Sometimes I'm a little behind with the super chats, so then I see one, I see the next, and then I realize, oh my gosh, you know, this guy's just trolling. Um, Haley checking in, hey, review bro, random, have you ever thought about going into acting? Um, no, not really, not really, um, the most acting I ever did was when I was in middle school, did some of the school, you know, the school plays, um, but I never, I never scored that lead role, I'm afraid, it was just always in the chorus, and I would have to, uh, have to just pretend to, uh, mouth the words and the songs half the time. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, Paul checking in. Love the Jack White review. Can you please review the gardens? Mirror might steal your charm. Shout out to my boy, Robbie. Shout out to Robbie. Thank you for your suggestion also. Um, uh, let's see what else we got. Um, Bob Cloney Productions. Review, bro. Have you ever experienced depression? Uh, of course. You know? I, I, I think... I think that's one of the the natural emotions um, in in terms of in terms of life. Uh, when it comes down to that, the people who are positive and you know happy like a hundred percent of the time, uh, that, that's not that's not natural. You have your good days and you have your bad days, and you have everything in between. What I always say though, the most important thing when it comes down to it is having a support system. Uh, a support network in place. I gave a whole lecture on that uh, on one of my uh, broadcasts about a week or so ago. I think it was two weeks ago. Uh, about support systems and how important they are and how important uh, they can be to keep you motivated, to keep you going, um, you know, onward and forward and for better. And a support system can be a person. It can be uh, a friend, a loved one, a doctor, um, but I feel a support system can be a thing too. It can be a, uh, can be music, can be literature, so on and so forth. But, uh, that's just my two cents. Uh, Matthew, Matthew, that was an odd pronunciation, I apologize, Matthew. Uh, have you ever considered selling neckties branded with your channel as part of your merchandise? I think people would like it. Of course, it would be awesome to do. It's just that the logistical factors that come in, um, in terms of selling neckties, is far higher than that of just selling t-shirts and the like. So, uh, you know, one day I might I might end up selling some neckties. I think it would go along very well with the, the, the image of the channel, of course. And uh, certainly something that could be uh, coming up going forward. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we got. Um, are you excited for Burger King's new Sourdough King? Or is all faith in the place lost? I, I didn't even know they had a new one coming out, honestly. Um, had no idea. So, uh, no, I didn't even know. Uh, mo mostly all faith in the place is lost. Um, but there was a little bit of redemption. When I saw that commercial with uh, Conor McGregor, man, that, that was probably the, the, the highest, the, the, the peak of, of Burger King in, uh, in recent memory. I mean, man, I watched that commercial probably at least 30 to 50 times. And I just remember just the lighting, the music, where Conor McGregor's coming in and he's saying, yeah, it got me really fired up. You know, oh man, that commercial was legendary, and that that got me over to Burger King. Uh, that got me over to Burger King. Uh, re reviewed their their spicy chicken sandwich, and uh, I'm sorry that uh, that that just got me that got me really fired up to try that thing out. But that commercial was legendary. That was legendary. Uh, all right. Anyway. Um. Uh, I don't know where, uh, to, to Killian, uh, I don't know where you got that, uh, idea from, but that is not true, um, 
So again, I don't know where you got that from, but that's not the truth. Um, Afflicted Studios, I get that one, so I'm not going to even repeat that. Um, trust me, I'm well versed in... Sad to say, but I'm well versed in all that BS, um, so I'm not going to shout that out. Um, let's see what else. Uh, oh, Michael. Michael, thank you. Good uh, good shortwave listener there, too. He says, hey, John, awesome album review. Thank you. Uh, glad you enjoyed the, uh, the album review. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I've been checking in. Long, are you a long-time Jack White fan? Interested in hearing what musical artists you like? Stay cool with you, bro. Well, Jack White, he's he's really interesting, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, I've listened to a lot of his work, but, you know, I especially I especially like this one. Especially like this album. Um, just because it was so experimental, it was so cool, and as, as I had said in the video, and as I reiterate now, uh, it was just awesome to me because he's doing what he wants to do. He's testing, he's trying out with these different sounds and these different um, genres, and he's just doing what he wants to do on this album, and that's what made it so awesome, in my opinion. Uh, Sheldon checking in, not sure if this was mentioned, but what inspired you to get into the shortwave? Probably mentioned somewhere, but I missed it. Uh, I got into shortwave years ago, in uh, 20, 2012, 2013. First in 2012, then fully in 2013. Um, because originally due to the concept of number stations, you know, I'm sure like all of you have heard of UVB 76, right? Uh, MDZHB, the buzzer on 4625 kilohertz, where it's sitting there and it's going, Bruh, Bruh, you know, it's just the buzzing 24-7, and then all of a sudden some Russian guy will pick up the microphone, right? And, and if he says something, then all the nukes are going to come out. Or it'll be a zombie apocalypse, right? That's what everyone thinks the buzzer is, right? Not like it's a, a, a channel channel marker on shortwave by the Russian military or anything. But <clears throat> anyway, I first uh, discovered the world of shortwave uh, through, through the buzzer, through the, the Russian buzzer. And I thought it was so cool to have this mysterious... 24-hour uh, station on shortwave, and I started looking up numbers stations, and through there I found a link to this online shortwave radio, um, the Web SDR, and I started. You know, at first I didn't know what this thing was. I was just, um, I was just seeing it. I, I did. I didn't know what it was. Um, it looked like it was the controls to the space shuttle or something, and uh, I started looking into it, and I realized, wow, this thing is an online radio. At first, I was checking out the AM band. I recognized some of the signals there. Started checking out the number stations on shortwave, and then I realized, well, wait a minute. There's more on shortwave than just these number stations and and the buzzer and the Sky Kings, right? You, you can't forget the Sky King messages. Um, and... Uh, and all of a sudden, I realized, wow, there's some really cool international broadcasters on shortwave. Uh, you've got these uh, pirate stations. You've got all of these uh, utility stations. You can hear all this cool stuff. And, uh, you know, it's... And that's what kind of got me enthralled in the medium. And ever since then, it's just, uh, you know, I've just, I've just continually been interested... And I decided to pursue the medium as a shortwave broadcaster. And, uh, you know, now I have my show that goes out on shortwave on that very, very medium that I first started out with uh, kind of as a hobby and an interest a few years back. And now I, I broadcast on it. So it's, it's, uh, it's neat. I'm looking at the chat here. It, again, I try to have it as civilized as possible, but the, um, you know... Anyway, back to the um, back to the super chats. Um, Matt Matt checks in. You have a beautiful soul. Anytime the world is beating me down, I can turn to you for a smile. What's your favorite kind of pie? Uh, apple pie. Usually go with apple pie. Um, usually, I'd say, I'd say it's apple pie. I'm not a big pie consumer. But usually it's apple pie, if we're talking usually into the dessert realm. Um, apple pie, not necessarily with ice cream. Um, but, 
usually apple pie. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, we're getting to the, uh, we're getting down to the, uh, the bottom of the super chats here. Um, could you review a Beyond Burger? They're found in Whole Foods Target, I believe. Um, I've never heard of Beyond Burger. So it's not, at first I thought, I thought that was a chain. Oh, okay. I'm looking that up right now. Oh, all right, that's cool. Yeah, that might be something worth trying out going forward. Thank you for your suggestion. Thank you. All right, anyway, let me go down through the super chats here, see if there's anything else I didn't um, didn't get. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, this person, Dylan, he, he again mentioned rap music. Again, I'll listen to all sorts of, of uh, music from genres and uh, eras and so on and so forth. So, of course, it's, um, you know, it's something I've, I've listened to. Um, admittedly, I'm not a rap music connoisseur. Um, I'm not a country music connoisseur either. So it's, uh, you know, I'm open to all genres of music, but there's some that I, uh, you know, I mostly like listening to alternative rock, indie rock, um, that, that whole kind of deal. Um, but I'm, I'm willing to give anything a try. I really am. All right, let's see, uh, let's see what else we have here. Let's see. Some of these, when people ask me to give shout-outs or something, I'm always a little, always a little, uh, a little, little, um, cautious, I suppose you can say. What's this guy? Did he say, what did he say? I might have missed his message. Um, let me, let me just look real quick, uh, and let me see if I, if I see it. Sometimes, because I do get a lot of the super chats, I try to, I try to get what I can get to, um... I'm just scrolling up right now. I'm trying to look. This guy, he said I missed his, um... Oh, hi, Review Bri. Love the content and your personality. Would you listen to a song of mine? It's the first on my channel. You may enjoy it. Uh, well, thank you. I can't listen to it right now. But again, going forward, uh, it's certainly uh, something that's... That I can... I can probably try out. Uh, but alright. Let's see what else we've got here. Have you ever watched any Red Letter Media... Uh, keep review bra in. Um, red. I've heard of them. I, if you asked me, like their 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 content, in terms of that, um, I can't I can't pinpoint it at this point in time. I can't I can't tell you any video of theirs that they did. But I have a bad memory. It just escapes me. I you know half the time I even forget. Um, I forget a lot of stuff. And you know I'm sure if I was prompted. And I saw maybe a title or something. I might say, you know, yeah, that's that was, that was from. But I can't, you know, I can't remember anything in terms of that right now. All right. Anyway, let's see a few more, and then I'm gonna, just because I want to, um, I'm gonna break out the short wave and see what I can pick up here. Um, uh, would you would you do a collab with a smaller channel in Orlando? I, uh, you know, usually I don't do collabs. I mean, it's. Uh, that's just how it's always been, but, uh, you never know. But I, I, I just don't usually do the collaborations, um, that's just how it is, but, uh, this guy, no, I'm not going to ask that, because whenever someone asks me to make a certain statement, at this point, what I've learned is usually that's done, and it's gonna just, it's gonna, it's gonna do something, um, so I'm not gonna say that, no. I'm sorry if I'm being a buzzkill here, but that's just how it is. Um, this is another one. Uh, Heather checks in. Uh, would you ever review any vegan food? I did touch upon that topic earlier, but I do understand people are constantly tuning in and out and whatnot. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, as I said earlier, these Oreo Thins, uh, they actually are vegan, believe it or not, which is pretty crazy, you know, but they're vegan for what they are. And... Uh, but yeah, no, going forward, absolutely. Um, let's see what else we have. What is your take on Burger King foot lettuce? Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. 
And so blah 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 foot fungus. And blah 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 at least he had shoes on. Um well at least he had shoes on, but that might be even worse. Um and what else do we have here? Um Alex checking in nice crochet blanket. Yeah, it's it's not it's not mine, but it is pretty. Um very pretty pretty blanket, feels warm, feels like a good a good blanket. Um, thought it'd make for a more interesting backdrop than the standard one that I usually do in the, uh, you know, with the, the closet back there. Um, <laughs> did, did you murder your loud neighbor? No, 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 he's, he's living in, in peace. Um, living in peace. Um, okay, let's see what else. Let's see what else, let's see what else. All right, I'm gonna... I'm going to check the short wave uh, because I want to. Let's see what we could pick up. Let's see what we could pick up. How about that? Uh, and then if anyone still submits the super chats, I'll let them accumulate and then I'll, I'll always get to them. You know, I always try to... Let's see if we could pick up anything. I, I imagine, considering all the lights that I have on here to ensure the highest quality... Um, lighting for this stream. There's probably a little bit of interference, but we'll see if we could pick up anything using the Texan PL660 radio. Yeah, the noise level is certainly higher in here. I'd imagine it's from these lights, but we'll see if we could pick anything good up. Usually the Spanish stations come in best over here. Radio Marti, they're coming in good. What's this one? Ooh, NHK. Yeah, they always come in good at night. NHK World, Radio Japan. I'm just doing my thing, just scanning around, seeing if I could pick up any good signals. 7260. I think this one's the voice of America, but I'm not entirely sure. Voice of Turkey, 9515, they're coming in pretty good. Yeah, just wanted to scan around. I said, why not? I was like scanning around and seeing what I can pick up. So that's what I picked up. Um, certainly, of course, if I shut off the fluorescent lights, which are usually, um, usually the ones that cause the most interference, um, you know, probably reception would be better of a lot of the stations that would decrease the noise floor, get rid of that QRM, as they say. Um, someone said, are you wearing pajama pants right now? No, I'm not. I'm afraid I'm wearing, I'm wearing pants and shoes, believe it or not. Um, you might say, yeah, you want a bet? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll stand up. How's that sound? You can see pants and shoes. Hopefully, hopefully you could see that. All right. Anyway, uh, back to some more, some more, uh, some more Q and A. Why not? Mm, let's see what we have. I just wanted to do a scan of the shortwave. You know, that's what I'm feeling. That's why I said, yeah, I'm gonna listen to some shortwave. So uh, that's what I'm doing. All right. Anyway, let's go back to some of the super chats here and. See what uh what we have. All right, let me let me scroll back up here so I can see what we missed. I was trying to find out where I'm where did I leave off. Where did I leave off? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Review Bra H3 podcast. You know, you know the thing about that. Uh, the other day, someone on the Reddit, 
uh, they were they were inquiring. They said, uh, what, "What happened? What uh, what happened with the the H three podcast? What uh, what 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 came of it? When are you going on?" And the the thing the thing that happened with that, right? H three H three. Uh, they they made the tweet to me on on the Twitter um, asking about you know do you want to go on on the podcast and that generated a lot of uh, activity so I you know I responded I said uh, you know sure just uh, send me an email you know send me an email for more uh, for more you know for more information really I gave him the address I gave him the email address. Uh, but you know, I never got an email, and I understand they're they're busy. They got a lot going on. Uh, they're, they're very very busy, I would presume. So you know, nothing came of it. But if I get you know the email and uh, the formal formal invite, uh, you know, you never know. Some people are acting like if I were to go on their podcast, it'd be the absolute end of the world. But I, uh, I highly, highly doubt it would be. That's the thing, you know, people. Things, things change, you know, with the channel, I mean. Like a lot of people, I think they were worried when it came down to the H3 podcast. They were worried um, maybe about change. And change is one of those topics that comes up a lot. Uh, it's a big thing, of course, with the channel right now. How some, of the, how some of the content is changing, right? Everything changes. Uh, everything is always changing. Time never stands still. Some things change for better, some things change for worse, uh, and some things just change naturally with time. Uh, you know, literally everything changes. That is that is the the core concept of everything. Everything's always changing. Um, so some people were were worried for some reason. Well, if you went on the H three podcast, uh, you know you're gonna be, uh, you, you know you're gonna be you're gonna be changed by it. Well, I highly doubt that. It'd be be the equivalent of just going on a show. You know, I went on Tosh.0 back in uh, 2016, and you know, the, 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 the entire premise of the Tosh.0 episode was to make fun of me. You know? That's what it was. Uh, let's be serious. The entire premise of that was to, to make fun of me, make a joke out of, uh, out of the channel. You know, why else would they put me in a suit, you know, 20 sizes too big? It, it was a comedy show. Um, did that change me? You know, did that change the channel any? No, it didn't. On the general topic of change, everyone focus on, you know, change. And everyone always focus uh, focuses on changing for the worst, right? This degraded so much. Look at how this person changed. Look at how this got so worse. This person got so much worse. This, this you know, jumped the shark on this one. This went downhill, etc., etc. The same thing, though, is that People can change for the better. Things can change for the better. Things can improve, too. Anyway. Let's see what else we got here. Hello, Mr. Bra. I happened upon your channel recently. I've been greatly entertained and interested in your reviews. My question is, what is your favorite outfit for reviewing food? Favorite tie? Uh, well, believe it or not, I think one misconception is that people treat this as though this is like a, a costume that I'm putting on for the video, when really this is what I'm just I'm, I'm wearing it for the day. You know, this is just what I'm uh, what I'm wearing. That's all that it all that it stands. You know, this is just what I'm wearing for the day. I woke up, I was feeling very cold, uh, so I put on a white dress shirt with a good collar, good good stiff collar. Um, put on the vest for extra warmth. Then put the sweater over that for even more warmth, and uh, that's where that stands. So really, it's not like I'm I'm picking out a suit as costume. And I'm saying, all right, you know, yeah, for the wardrobe, uh, uh, wardrobe department. All right, we're gonna go with this suit for this. You know, I'm just wearing the outfit that I went with for that day. Um, favorite tie? There's a lot of ties that I like. There's certain certain ties that. Uh, you know, I think are, uh, you know, that I, I certainly have more, uh, I guess, hold in higher regard than others. One of my favorite ties, I haven't worn it in a bit, but it's a, a black tie 
with blue stripes on it, and it's it's alternating colors of blue, but it's a really nice tie, one of my favorites, and uh, a wonderful tie in that regard. Let's see a few more. Um, a few more, let's see what we got. Sometimes these go by, so... Uh, I'm so excited, just got my PL660, should get it on Wednesday, and looks like fun scanning the different stations. Yeah, it is, that's one of the favorite things about uh, shortwave. I, you know, I love just spinning the dial and seeing what I'll pick up. Uh, sometimes, of course, you'll find, if you, if you listen every single night at the same time, you're going to hear the same stations, but propagation is so fun. Uh, for instance, during a certain time late at night, I've been scanning around, and there's a certain set of stations that I hear that are always coming in strong, such as the Voice of Nigeria and Radio New Zealand International. Um, but there are also stations that one night there's a static on this frequency, and then the next night all of a sudden there's a station booming in that I hadn't heard before. Uh, so propagation, the way that it is, it's very fun. Um, if you're really committed, you know, you can kind of block out some of the static, you know, the fading and all that is just part of the medium. And, uh, yeah, that's just how it is, but it's just a lot of fun to just scan around because you really, you never know what you're going to hear. Um, I can go on and on about the voice of Nigeria. They're, a, they're an interesting shortwave station, but I don't think anyone would care to hear about that, but <laughs> they're an interesting station. Um, let's see what else we have. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Joseph checking in. Hey man, just want to let you know, love your videos. Please keep up the good work. Take care, bro, and don't get too stressed over life. Thank you. Thank you kindly for your kind words. Uh, Abigail checking in. Do you like David Byrne? Love your channel. Yeah, David Byrne, he's, uh, he's great. Of course, everyone always compares me to him because of the the big suit that he wore that one time but that's all right you know it's far worse people that they would that they could try to compare one to um let's see what else we got um i don't think i got i don't think i read this one uh haley checking and i asked about the acting thing because my best friend is writing a screenplay and the main character reminds me of you I wonder if she did that on purpose well you never know um but i wish your friend uh, the best of luck in the the screenplay writing endeavors. Um, Jessica checking in again. The lads and lasses require more merch in hot pink. Also, don't pay attention to the hate. There's plenty of us here who think it great. Um, for color schemes, there's certain designs. Because actually, in terms of the merchandise, this is something I actually do want to bring up. There's a new design that I'm trying to get on Teespring right now. I'm, you know, I, I, I wish I got this up there um, before, but I'm working on getting this onto to Teespring. Um, it's something that, as I said, I wish was up there before, but it would be a, a t-shirt with the famous, probably the most famous quote ever, um, that says, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. And I, I wanted to get this made into merchandise and get it up there. I'm finally working to kind of get that into, uh, I guess into just, I don't know what the, the adjective is, just get it up there. And I've been going through all of the, the color schemes and color combinations and just certain things, the way the text is, the way the picture is, etc., etc., work better in certain colors. So, you know, I'm trying to find the best ones that'll work there. But anyway, that's the next thing I'm planning on adding to the Teespring store. Once I finally get it there, you know, I'll, I'll let you all know. I'll, I'll get the word out. I'll get the grand reveal. And, uh, you know, so I'll let you know once that's up. But right now I'm just going through all the color schemes and trying to find out which one works best, which one's going on, you know, which would probably look most visually appealing. Um... But thank you for the suggestion also in terms of the color schemes. Again, just certain colors work best for certain styles and pictures and, and designs, etc. Um, and also thank you for your kind words there. Um, let's see what else we have here. 
message retracted. Well, I don't know who that was, but thank you for your contribution. Um, I'm, I'm going to pronounce the name Mikey. Mikey. Not Mickey. Mikey. Uh, do you have any relation to Lord? Um, or are you secretly Lord? Um, well, I don't know. I've never, I've never done a, a formal DNA test, so I can't, I can't say a hundred percent that there's no relation there. I would say with ninety-nine percent certainty uh, that I'm not related to Lord in any way, shape, or form. But again, I haven't done the DNA testing yet, so I don't know. Uh, it's unlikely, uh, but again, I, I don't have I don't have the results on paper at this point to fully prove one way or the other. But again, I would say 99 percent, maybe 99.5 percent, I'm not related to Lord. But maybe there's that 0.5 percent chance. I would even say it's lower, but I don't know. Uh, I re I really. Well, I don't know. Um, okay, all right, a few more. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got going on here. Um, Dave's Dave's checking in. What's up? How's your week been? Review Bob. Uh, going good. It's been, it's been going good. Uh, had a lot of fun doing the album review, changing things up. It's going going really good and. In that regard, having some fun with a live stream, you know, you have your ups, you have your downs, but overall, it's, uh, you know, it's been, it's been going, going good. Um, this is a very spontaneous live stream. As I said, I woke up at around 9 p.m., and uh, I just decided to set it up and go in with the live stream. Kind of gave a little, little preview of the, the, re the remix and the live stream uh, yesterday on the Patreon, so it's something I've had in my mind. I was saying, you know, I might plan on doing a live stream Saturday night. Finally doing it. Um, just set it up and just having some fun. You know, this is pretty much a monthly, a monthly live stream. A, uh, yeah, just a monthly live stream, as they say. And just having, uh, having some fun. Doing some Q&A, some just casual, miscellaneous talk. And, uh, just having some fun. Time bots. Robotics team, they're checking in. All right, thank you for checking in. Zoe also checking in. Um, uh, let's see what else we have. Um, Blues Baby Eight. Hi John, thanks for being a breath of fresh air. Do you ever listen to old time radio from the 30s and 40s? Also, are you an English or history major? Thank you for your time. Have a good evening. Uh, you know, I don't listen to that too much. People, I, I think, people think that I have, like, that I'm completely obsessed with the 1930s and, and 40s. Um, I think that some of the music and whatnot is, is great um, from, from that era. And there's a few, like on shortwave, for instance, there's a station out there um, that airs some some old time programs, you know, some like old time radio dramas and uh, really old records and stuff. And it could be, it can be fun to tune into, but some of the programs on that station that precede those shows uh, are so despicable um, that I can't listen to it because it just left such a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, but, you know, it's sad, it ruined the good show for me, but, you know, it's their call to have that stuff aired in the first place. But, you know, oh well. You know, that's what they'll do for a buck, I suppose. Air, air, whatever, regardless of whatever it might be. All right, on to a few more super chats here. Sometimes when they, when they really pile up, it lags a little bit, so I try to find out what we got going here. Uh. Sandy D, no, that's never going to happen. Um, nope. Uh, please watch Mr. Rogers' documentary, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for your suggestion, Mr. Rogers. 
an absolute amazing person, just a incredible person. That, that that that's that's what I would have to say. Just an absolutely incredible person he was, you know. Someone whose qualities I think we can all take a look at and aspire to be, you know, be more like I suppose. Probably one of the kindest people there ever was. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, Grace checking in. Do you listen to Absolute Radio on shortwave? My favorite music station is curious if you tune in as well. Um, on, on the web SDR receiver in the Netherlands, um, I'll tune into Absolute Radio um, on, what's the frequency? 1215 one, kilohertz. Um, the sad thing about that frequency, though, is that it has so much fading on it, it's sometimes tough to really make it up, but their music lineup is great. Um, Big recommendation, especially if you're in the UK, then you could just pick that up on medium wave. Uh, but even if you've never heard of that station before, Absolute Radio, um, it's it's an incredible station. Such a such a good music lineup they have, and uh, I'd recommend giving them a listen. They mostly play like British rock because it's a British station. They play you know British rock from probably the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s. Uh, but they just have such a great lineup, a great playlist. I'd recommend giving them a listen if you're, you know, feeling it, want something to listen to. Absolute Radio, though, they're an awesome station. Great station out there. Um, another station I'd, I used to, I don't listen to them anymore, but I think they still have some good music. They're a long wave station, but they're on the frequency of 234 kilohertz. Easy to remember, 234. Um, Radio Luxembourg on long wave. They have some good shows. There is one program that I used to listen to every night. It was called Les Nocturnes. Um, I believe it was in uh, French, but they would play some good music too. A good lineup. Usually the golden oldies, but again, just some some classics. I'm not going to read on, on to some more super chats. Uh, I'm not going to read this guy's name, but he asks a valid question. Have you ever thought about reviewing Hungry Howie's Pizza? I have. Uh, I have reviewed Hungry Howie's in the past, um, but I'm disappointed in them, admittedly. I'm disappointed in Hungry Howie's. I sometimes call them Hungry Howard's Pizza, um, but I I'm disappointed in them, honestly. To tell you the truth, the thing that disappoints me about Hungry Howie's the most, actually it's two things. Sometimes when it comes down to an establishment, one bad experience can kind of ruin it for the rest. And that's what happened to me with Hungry Howard's. And uh, I, I, I went in there. And now here's here's one thing. With Hungry Howie's, I, I don't understand this, but everyone is, like they say they're so cheap, right? Like that's, you can get great pizza at a great price at Hungry Howard's. Uh, and it's even better than Little Caesars when it comes to economy pizza. But I don't understand it. When I, Whenever I go to Hungry Howie's, I, I just want a pepperoni pizza. And it's like 15 bucks for, for a pizza. I don't understand it. People tell me that you can get one for $5. But all of a sudden, whenever I try and buy one, it's 15 to sometimes even 20 bucks for a pizza. So number one, that got that got me. Number two, I, I think their sauce is terrible. I think it's disgusting. Probably the worst um, pizza sauce from a major chain I've ever had. Um, that's just my my truthful opinion. So whenever I would, all right, you know that's fine. That's my opinion. I'm not a fan of their sauce. They had this spicy, like this spicy. I forget the name of it, but it was this spicy pizza sauce. It was supposed to be like their standard tomato sauce with a little bit of spiciness to it. And it was, uh, you know, that was the one redeeming quality. It was the one thing that made it, that made it edible, you know, that made it consumable. And then they got rid of that, so I had no reason to go there anymore. No reason to buy it, especially when it was so overcharged, um, whether intentionally or otherwise. Uh, but it was just uh, so disappointing. And then there was one time when I tried to use a coupon there, and then oh boy, they went. They gave me a real hassle with that one too. That was the last straw. So I haven't, 
I haven't been there anymore, and I have no desire to go there again. It's just, it's, it's one of those things uh, where they had one thing that I enjoyed, got rid of it, now there's nothing left to enjoy there. It's overpriced. If I want, like, some good cheap pizza, I'll go to Little Caesars. Uh, I, I legitimately like the extra most bestest pizza. Sometimes I try to get it light on the sauce, though. But uh, that's probably the, the, the best thing going at Little Caesars. The one thing I do like about Little Caesars, too, I'll tell you in a minute. Let me get some coffee here. One thing I like about Little Caesars is when you get their crazy bread, um, and you get it with the marinara sauce on the side, I mean... You, they don't, they don't rip you off in terms of that. You get this full-blown tub of marinara sauce. So they just, they go, they go all out in terms of uh, the, the marinara sauce on the side. You know, like Pizza Hut, I like their marinara sauce too. Whenever I get a pizza, I try to get some marinara sauce on the side. But they give you a small little cup. You know, it's all right. It tastes, tastes pretty good. Uh, but, but little, little Caesars gives you, I mean, just a, a gigantic receptacle of marinara sauce. You get, you get tons of it. Someone says it's nasty, yeah, but, but still, for e economy-priced pizza, it's the, best that there, it's the best thing going, in my opinion. All right, anyway, on to some more. Um, Scarlet checking in. Um, you're a natural-born entertainer. Thank you for your kind words. Um, Dan... Different Dan, different Dan than Dan the Madman earlier, who was just going nuts in the chat, and I had to, I, I had to, he was, he was just too, too far, too far, um, but Dan, Dan, he's saying, um, $30, uh, well spent, how are you still thin, uh, do you think it's a metabolism thing, or do you eat healthy food when off camera, uh, well, I don't, I don't do a lot of eating, um, you know, I just haven't, I haven't a huge appetite. It's one of those things where it's, it's a, um, how do I explain it? If you, if you eat a lot every day, right, your appetite will naturally kind of accommodate that, that, that type of consumption. If you eat a little bit every day, kind of your appetite will, you know, really your stomach will accommodate that. Um, I just don't have much of an appetite in terms of food, uh, so, you know, I usually, I stick it to usually one meal a day, but I've been, I've actually, on another, on another point, uh, I've been trying to eat healthier as of late, too. I've um, been trying to incorporate more vegetables in my, uh, my diet. I've been trying to kind of get the, the protein boxes from, uh, from Starbucks, um, kind of make that a meal, you know, eat some carrots, um, some apples, some bananas, some, um, some peas, some, what else, what else, what other good stuff is there, celery, you know, can't forget the celery, um, tomatoes, etc., uh, I've just really been trying to incorporate some fruits and, and veggies into my diet, you know, if I want to have a snack, and usually I'm not a big snacking person anymore, but, you know, instead of going out and, say, going to, to McDonald's, uh, nowadays, I'll just try and go and eat something healthier, you know, have a healthy little snack. Um, maybe might be fewer calories, but it's probably better for you, you know, certainly in the long run. Uh, but, you know, when it comes down to healthy food, it's one of those things that it takes a little bit of time to, to get used to, to accommodate. Um, because for a while, you know, I mean, I'll tell you this personally. When I first started trying to eat healthier, you know, a lot of the time I just had an urge to go out and just get some fast food instead, right? You know, really an apple, you know. I could just go to McDonald's and get, you know, a nice a nice juicy hamburger um, with some Coca-Cola. But, uh, you know, it takes time. Eventually, though, you start just eating eating the stuff that's healthier, and you, you adapt the taste to it. I realize, you know what, this actually tastes pretty good. You know, I, I really like how this tastes. Something that you, you adapt to. You, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a process when you're so used to eating fast food and sugary stuff, etc. 
Um, but it takes, you know, it takes a little bit of time to adapt to, but it's, uh, you know, once, once you get there, it gets a lot easier, but trust me, I still get that fast food. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend and say I only eat healthy stuff, uh, every day, you know, I, I still, I still eat the fast food, but I've been trying to incorporate, I, I should say, more healthy food into my diet. One thing, pretty recently... Uh, I've been getting from Starbucks recently, and I, I'm not going to say this is healthy because it's not, but they're croissants. If you if you are a frequent customer at Starbucks, and uh, you, uh, you've never gotten these, I recommend checking them out. Get their croissant, um, buttered croissant. Always get it warmed up. That's the key. Get it warmed up. Um, get an everything croissant. Also could try that. Um, you know... Get it warmed up. Those things are delicious. Those things are, those things are amazing. Um, probably the, probably the best baked goods Starbucks has going right now. All right, a few more. Um, Nicholas checking in. Love the crocheted couch cover, mate. Keep up the good work and have a great week. Thank you. I don't know who who made this, but no, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. As I said, it's uh, it's very pretty. Feels very warm, and it, I thought it'd make for a cool little backdrop for the. Uh, the video, the video too. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh boy, a ton just came in right now. All right, let's see, let's see. All righty, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling around. Sam, Sam, our next person. Uh, do you ever think about changing your hairstyle? And I'm pretty content with it. Uh, I did a video recently about hairstyles and... It actually wasn't even that. It was about two months ago, I would say. And uh, in terms of hairstyles, I'm, I'm content with, with how it is right now. Um, I like going not with the side part, but with what I would consider to be an upper middle part. You know, like, like here's where the part is, um, right? A side part would be really more or less down here. And a middle part would be right up here. So this is an upper middle part. Because you look, right, this is the middle of my hair. It's not quite a middle part, but it's certainly higher up than a side part. Um, and that's what I'm content with. I, uh, you know, I, I've been going with the upper middle part in my hair probably for about four years now. That's just what I'm uh, happiest with. Uh, it used to be more of a lower side part. I used to sometimes just do full-blown comb over, but I stopped that. Again, now I just have an upper middle part. I grow out the hair quite a bit. Like, the hair, it's right up here. If I were to take it, it would be, probably, the hair would almost go all the way down to the bottom of my face. That's how, how long it is on the top. Um, and then I try to keep it a little shorter on the sides and back. You know, just try to keep it neat and tidy. I don't do any of that stuff, though, with the, the undercut or any of that. I'm not a fan of that style, and I certainly am not a fan of the association, uh, which that haircut is associated with. Um, nothing I ever support or condone in any way, shape, or form. Um, lately, though, I've been thinking about trying to get a haircut, but I decided, no, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to bother with it. Um, so I'm not, you know, I just, I have a little bit of a, a trimmer right now that I just kind of trim the back every so often, just try to get rid of the little curls and tangles, and just keep the upkeep. I mean, it's been about six months since I, uh, no, it hasn't been that long, but it's been close to six months probably since I uh, since I got a full blown haircut. So I've been maintaining it pretty well ever since. I would wager, and uh, you know I don't mind keeping it a little longer. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me at all. You know I don't mind keeping it a little longer, having some length to it. Again, just keeping it a little neat on the sides and back, um, and just have that length to it. That doesn't bother me at all probably what I'm most content with now at this point. Um, but I'm content with the hairstyle, but if one day I ever feel the need to change it, then I'll change it. But um, as things stand now, I'm just a big, uh, you know, I like it the way it is. All right, Trevor checking in. You ever tried Whataburger? Travel to Texas, question mark. Um, it's a possibility. As with any travel that's out there, it's um, no guarantee but I like to say this, just like when people say, um, you know, go to uh, go go to Japan. I think that's a common one. 
or go to Canada or go to the UK uh, and try this here or try this there, um, etc., etc. The, um, the, the thing with that, you never know. I'm not a big traveler myself, but you never know what the future holds. I'm not going to just say no to it and say, yeah, that's never going to happen. You never know what the future holds. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests for Whataburger, though. Unfortunately, there just aren't any here. Same thing with In-N-Out, and uh, same thing with Jack in the Box, but you never know. Let's see what else. <laughs> this guy sent me 10 bucks, says albino rat. Thumbs up on that one. You forgot the little emoji, but that's all right. You, you get a pass on that one. Um, do you like the Beatles? Yeah, well, the Beatles are awesome. I, you know, I don't think they're the greatest group um, in all time, but they're certainly a, a tremendously talented group. When you when you look at it this way, think of what the Beatles accomplished in the time that they that they were active from. Like they were just active, just for you know, just through the '60s, and that was pretty much it. Then they split up, went their separate ways. You know the whole deal. The amount that they accomplished, when you realize that short time frame, uh, is incredible. And they they were certainly an extremely talented group. Uh, you know, I, I really like '60s music. I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, so it's uh, you know, I'm not I'm not talking about Beatles like the I'm talking about the band the Beatles. Um, no, they're awesome. Lots of great songs. It's a shame. What's sadly disappointing is that it's tough to hear their music on YouTube nowadays. I remember years ago, you used to be able to listen to whatever you wanted to on YouTube. Now you can't anymore. With a, with a few selections here and there, you know, you can go to the Beatles, uh, Vivo channel and you could find like maybe five songs of theirs, which you could repeat granted, but a lot of songs of theirs are just great, especially their later work. Um, as, as they started getting into the late 60s and started experimenting more, obviously, with certain aids, right, of various substances, um, their music really just it, it exploded. I mean, at first, you know, in the early 60s, they were just standard bubblegum pop, you know, I want to hold your hand, etc., etc., um, which is great and all, but it's, you know, it's a pretty genuine, or it's, not to say, it's more of just a standard sound, you know, there's nothing really unique to it, it's just bubblegum pop. Um, but then when they started doing the stuff like uh, Sgt. Peppers and, and that whole album, uh, uh, Magical Mystery Tour, um, especially that one, that, that, that's something else. A lot of great songs from them, though. Anyway, let's get a few more going. Uh, King420, <laughs> great, great name. Hello, God, well, hello to you. Um... Will you? I just did, I just did acknowledge you. Um, let's see what else. Uh, what is your dream car? You know, I don't really have a dream car, honestly. Um, automobiles are are something that I don't really have much an uh, obsession with. Um, there was a, there was a time when I was really into fifties cars, like uh, the nineteen fifties um, Chevy. Bel Air, you know, that, that's iconic, right? That's a classic, classic car from the 50s. But the thing with those cars nowadays is, I mean, you can polish it up, you can maintain it, you can uh, do all of that, but it's an investment, right? The gas mileage on it isn't going to be really good, um, and you've got to really worry about every little, every little bump, every little scratch, Right, you want to you want to get it looking pristine and authentic, and that's the thing with classic cars. A lot of maintenance, a lot of money that goes into it as a result. Gas mileage isn't the greatest, so it's uh, you know that's the thing. It's fun to look at, fun to think about, but I'm not really one to um, really uh, really in, in, invest in cars or that that car life, you know. But again, I know, for a lot of people, they have a dream car. You know, they have their favorite car. Um, they like to, to think about cars. They like to, you know, and that's something that gives people solace and contentment. And I respect that. You know, it's not like I'm saying, well, if you think about cars, you know, you're, you're an idiot or whatever. No, no, not at all. If you have a dream car, you know, it's something that can kind of 
give you an escape, give you, uh, give you some, some happiness to think about, or if you even have that car, um, something to look forward to, that's awesome, you know, that's amazing, and, uh, absolutely, you know, so it's, you know, nothing against that. Uh, Becca checking in again, she says, I'm still here, what drink are you drinking? Uh, well, I've got two, as you've obviously seen. Uh, I've got my Starbucks coffee right here, which is, I'm almost done with it, not quite. Almost. This is, um, their iced vanilla latte. Iced vanilla latte, no more ice in it anymore, but it's still nice and cool. That's for my, <clears throat> my caffeine fix. And then in the, in the, um, the titanium thing, uh, is Starbucks ice water. Starbucks ice water. Yeah, I've been going for a while. I've been streaming for about two hours now, uh, but eh, I'm just going to keep it going. Why not? You know, what happens when I stream a lot of the time is, uh, sometimes it, it, it affects the, the channel analytics. That's fine. You know, let it, let it happen. I just want to keep the camera going. I have more to talk about, so talk I will. And, uh, that's all good. I'll just answer a few more of your questions or however long it, it is. And that's all good. Um, no problems there. You know, not a big issue. I remember the first time I ever did a live stream, and this was a mistake on my part, but I didn't, I didn't know. Where I started up my first live stream uh, ever in it was it was late 26, 2017. and uh, I think it was right after Christmas or something. And I did it on my my mobile phone, smartphone, using the uh, the YouTube app. I did that because I didn't have this webcam yet. I didn't have the encoder with the glorious watermark that we all love so much in the corner there. And uh, I, I thought it would be a good idea to just start it up at 3 a.m., right? I thought, well, I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to do a, a test, you know, a live stream test. I'm going to give it a shot. So I'm going to do it at 3 a.m., right? It's not going to be an issue. Uh, not a lot of people will be there, so in case... You know, in case it all just goes straight down the tubes, uh, it'll be okay, and we'll, we'll, we'll be all right, right? It'll be be okay. Well, little did I realize, of course, that not everyone was very appreciative of me sending out a notification that would be going out on people's phones at 3 a.m. And what caused a bigger issue was I was trying to do this stream, and technology failed on me. And it gave out. You know, the feed gave out, the stream was over. And I, I said, all right, fine, I'm going to just do another stream. Well, with that, another notification went out. And then that one failed on me. Fine, I'm going to do a third stream. Another notification went out. So all these people at 3 a.m., usually like probably from 3 to 4 a.m., were getting all these notifications on their phone while they're trying to sleep saying, the report of the week is live streaming, <laughs> the report of the week is live streaming again, <laughs> the report of the week is live streaming again, <laughs> and you know, people were getting sick of that, they're saying, you know, just forget this guy, you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to get these stupid notifications, unsubscribed, and I lost about a thousand subscribers that day, um, because people were just very, uh, very, you know, peeved, because of all the notifications that came out. That's understandable, though. That was a mistake on my part. Um, an error. And, uh, you know, you learn from your mistakes. That's why right now I'm just doing it um, a little bit earlier in the evening. Still, granted, um, still a bit a, a bit late. It's 12.24 a.m. Eastern right now. But it's, uh, you know, it's not at 3 a.m. or anything. Plus, it's not like this is on a on a weeknight or anything, so people, for the most part, right, tomorrow's Easter, um, a lot of people are, are off right now, especially with a weekend, obviously, but a lot of people are off from work, um, off from school, you know, you know, really, it's, tomorrow's gonna be more of a rest day for many, um, 
a day maybe for you know for people to go to religious services or to just have an easter meal with their family it's not going to be really it shouldn't be a crazy day um or an excessively busy day um so that's why i'm not too concerned about the the timing of things um again the mistake that i made during that time was that i did that on a weeknight where all these poor folks are just trying to sleep because they had to get up in probably three hours to go to school or go to work, or whatever it was, and here where I was, bombarding them with so many notifications, and that wasn't, that wasn't right of me to do, but, you know, it was a rookie mistake, it was my first time ever doing a live stream, and, uh, you know, you learn, you learn from your mistakes, and you, you kind of look back at them, and you know, all right, well, now I saw where I went wrong with that, and you look back at that, and you say, all right, I'm gonna now improve upon that going forward, I know not to do that, anymore. I know not to do a live stream at 3 a.m. on a weeknight, or if I was, at least not. There's a way where you don't have to have all the notifications to be sent out. Um, so, you know, you learn from that. And uh, thereafter, you know, I, I did that and I improved upon it. And I know like in the um, in Europe right now, it is quite late. But, you know, again, considering considering what day it is and what's going on, I'm not too concerned about the time. And it's all good. Doesn't bother me at this point. All right, let's see what else we got. Alex checking in. Uh, thanks for the live stream review, bra. Sleep eludes, so I decided to tune in. Have a good Easter. Thank you very much, Alex. Hope you have a great Easter, too. Have a happy Easter. And uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Jonathan, he's asking the question that all of us wanted to know. Um, he said, do you collect lamps made from human skin? Uh, no, no, human hair. Human hair, not human skin, I'm afraid. That's where you went wrong with that one. Um, human hair. Human skin, it doesn't, it's, it's, it doesn't do as good a job as you'd think. Um, but hair is what you use, all right? You don't, you don't make a lamp out of the skin. It's of the hair. That's what works out. Um, makes it easier to wash, too, you know? So, no, that's, that's a misconception, I'm afraid. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Static to touch. Checking in. Five tips for a positive attitude. You know, when people mention the numbers of things, you know, what's your top ten this, top five that, I never get how some people can just suddenly have five things right off the uh, right off the bat like that. Um, but my biggest tip to have a positive attitude, at least something that I've realized, is patience. And that's tough sometimes. You know, a lot of the a lot of the times nowadays we're really conditioned to go go go. You know, you know this is so important. Got to get it done now. You know, I need this now. I, you know. I, and every, every, everything feels so rushed, right? Everything feels like it's, you know, such a self-centered, um, just impatient world, you can say. I think one thing, though, is just to take it easy, take a deep breath, realize, you know, it's all right. Most of the time. I mean, yes, with everything comes its exceptions. Um, but I think one thing, of course, is just to, to try to be more patient. Um, try to be... And this is something that... It's, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to change overnight. This is something that I've worked on over the years for, you know, through, you know, through, through I'd say, a lot of growth. This isn't something that's happened with me overnight. Um, but to try to be more patient, more humble, to try to tr treat people, treat others with respect, and never, ever try to hurt others. And uh, it's just, it's something, as I said, you could try to work on here and there. It's, you know, the people who say... You can change overnight. Unless it's something extreme, it's usually not going to happen. It's something, though, through, through you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that and continuous work on self-improvement, um, perhaps it can, you know, it can get there. Uh, only Wednesday music checking in. Hope you're having a wonderful night and port of the week. Just wondering if you can considered or tried playing an instrument before. Uh, thank you for checking in. Thank you for checking in. Um, 
instruments, 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 musical instruments. Um, you know, people will sometimes see the nails, and I can, I could kind of joke around. I can say, yeah, I'm a professional uh, guitarist. You know, doing that whole rock band life. But uh, no, in truth, I, I I consider myself more a music appreciator. Just mean that's a fancy way to say I listen to music, but I don't play an instrument. Um, rather than than actually playing an instrument. When I was young, I I think as many of us did, you played the stupid little um, recorder. You remember that the little recorder flute. Uh, which I, re I really couldn't play that thing. It sounded terrible. Then I tried to play the violin, and boy, I could, I could really, I could play the song Mary Had a Little Lamb, but nobody's business. I mean, I could just go, I could go all out on that one. But other than that, um, I was no music virtuoso. Uh, do you listen to Mac DeMarco? Yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I, I do. I'm not gonna. When when some people ask me, well, do you listen to um, do you listen to to this? Uh, do you listen to that? Are you a fan of this and that? Uh, some people they try to to say, well, yeah, you know, I I, I listen to uh, to blah blah, and uh, they act as if they know everything about the artist. I've listened to uh, Mac DeMarco for. I've listened to uh, a number of his songs, um, but I'm not going to say I know everything about him, or I haven't listened to a ton of his music, but from what I've heard, uh, I like I like it. I like what I've heard, and uh, yeah, he's done, uh, I think he's just a good, a good music artist, you know? I like what he does. Anyway, uh, what's your favorite drink at Starbucks? Uh, currently, right now, my favorite drink is the iced uh, vanilla latte. It's probably been my favorite drink for a while now. Um, I also like the iced white chocolate mocha, but that's very high in sugar, so that one is something that I only get once in a while. And uh, years ago, it used to be my favorite drink um, was uh, the caramel macchiato. That was my favorite one there. Um, but it evolves, it changes, but I think I've kind of found... I found the one thing that I really like from there, that's the... Uh, the iced vanilla latte, because it's a little lower in the sugar, but it's still so flavorful, tastes great, and uh, just really enjoyable overall. Um, let's see, any more? Um, you're about a decade younger than me. Yeah, I see you as an inspiration. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind words there. Hope you have a happy Easter. Uh, Jeff checking in. Do you ever watch baseball? If you had a favorite team, what would it be? Uh, the New York Yankees. Um, I'm not an avid baseball fan or viewer, um, but I'd have to say the Yankees. But again, I'm not, I'm not a uh, a baseball fanatic. You know, I, it's not like I, I gotta I gotta catch the baseball game. I gotta catch the ball game. Um, that's really how it is with all sorts of sports. Um, I'd be more of a casual watcher than anything anything else. Um, but when it comes down to to baseball, uh, you know, the, the, the New York Yankees. Years ago, I'd even been to a Yankee game uh, a couple times at Yankee Stadium. Um, it, was, it was neat, you know, it was neat to kind of see it live. But again, it's not one of those things that, as, as many may, uh, I don't find myself completely engrossed in. And that's all right. Marissa checking in. Happy Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter to you, too. Um... Let's see what else we got. Um, Deanna, I hope that's pronounced correctly. If not, my apologies. Um, Deanna Hendrickson, um, please do these more often. Sending love from Los Angeles. Thank you kindly. Uh, well, the live streams, I try not to overdo it. Um, I, I try not to. I try to make it maybe something that I do once a month, maybe twice a month. As a matter of fact, right now, happy happy April, April first. Um, right now. Uh, so I try to do it maybe on once a month, maybe twice a month at most, but I try not to overdo it because if you try to do something too much, you know, it'll get, it'll get old for one reason or another, R run out of things to talk about, 
um, all the questions that are to be answered have been answered, etc., etc. So I try to just do it maybe as like a monthly wrap-up, uh, just to talk about various things, whatever is on my mind, whatever I want to talk about with the channel, answer whatever questions are to be answered, and uh, that's where that stands. Another thing I should bring up with the live streams, of course, it's always fun to interact with you guys, the, the viewers, the audience. Um, yeah, it's a great way to, to just kind of chat and hang out, usually on a weekend uh, night. And another thing, of course, with the Super Chats, it's a great way to help the channel out too. A uh, great way to help out these radio broadcasts also. I was saying at one point I wanted to try to expand the shortwave broadcast to Africa at some point. Uh, but boy, the stations that target there, they charge an arm and a leg. Um, but sometimes this can maybe help that become a reality at some point. So thank you all for your support. Uh, just having a lot of fun tonight. Just, uh, you know, just chatting, answering some questions and uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's see what else we got going. Um, a few more. Raymond. Raymond, he's checking in subbed after the H2O review. Uh, could you do a review of how different sounds taste? Um, well, maybe. That's ambitious. Um, but maybe. <laughs> oh, let's see what else we got going on. Samuel, Samuel reporting in, going through some tough stuff right now. Your videos cheer me up. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. Um, it always, it's always so shocking to me, to tell you the truth, when people, uh, when people comment or they, they send um, an email or something in the chat that say the videos, you know, they help me out. Uh, because it's just, it's shocking to me. I think to myself, how could any of my videos ever, you know, ever help anyone else out in that regard? Uh, you know, it's always so shocking because it's something I just never, I, I never saw this channel doing. I never saw this. There's, uh, you know, anything that I ever had to say to be of any help to anyone else. Uh, so it's just always so shocking to me when, when someone, you know, says I'm, you know, I'm going through some, I'm going through some tough times. I have some, you know, some bad anxiety, uh, it's, et cetera. And watching your videos or listening to your broadcast really helps me out. It's so shocking to me. Every single time I, I see that, it's so shocking because it's something that's just, it's, it's, it's crazy to me. I just, I don't. It's just so crazy. It's something I never, ever uh, forecast, saw, or expected in this channel. So it's, uh, it's just always so crazy when I see that. <clears throat> but thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, ben the Gamer 300 reporting in. Do you listen to Linkin Park? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Very sad about them when... Uh, not quite a, a year ago, but it was very sad about what happened with them, of course. But... You know, some good music, some good music. Of course, a lot of people nowadays make uh, make their some of their songs into to, to memes and the like. Uh, but one of one of their songs, it's one of my favorites of theirs. It wasn't from the early two thousands. It was from around maybe twenty ten or so. I'm trying to look it up right now. Uh, if you'll give me a second, I'm seeing if I'm if it, I'm looking through the videos. Mixes one of their songs, and I mean, I thought it was just awesome. And again, it wasn't one of their early 2000s pieces. Um, I'm just going to type something in. Yeah, Waiting for the End by Linkin Park. One of my favorite Linkin Park tunes. Again, it wasn't early 2000s rock, but uh, probably one of my favorite songs of theirs. Um... Let's see what else. Paul checking in. Where do you see yourself in the channel in the next year? Uh, you know, I, I can't predict the future. Uh, I, I can't. It's one of the things. It's impossible to predict. Because a year ago, this channel was there not even with 200,000 subscribers yet. And it was going through some real tough times, too. It was, uh, that's when the first YouTube ad apocalypse happened. And uh, the channel has gone through some really tough times about a year ago. I remember that. And uh, was struggling to even keep the, the radio show on the air. Could barely even keep it going. So, a, a, you know, a year ago, would I have ever been able to pre predict that the channel is where it is now? No. You know, 
and a year, you know, where do I see the channel in 2019? I don't know. All I can tell you is what my plan is for it, uh, which again is just to try to continue to div diversify the channel um, by getting some, you know, just some more random videos into the mix while keeping the food reviews there. The food reviews aren't going to go anywhere, um, but just doing some more random videos, some live streams like I'm doing now, um, some just some random stuff like the, the album review I just did, some random talks, some random discussions, and uh, that's just what my plan is for the channel, and wherever that takes me, it takes me for better, you know, for worse. You can't predict the future, but that's just my plan for the channel, and that's all that I can really say about it. Um, all right, uh, let's see what else. Um, Taikan checking in. Taikan, Taikan. Happy Easter review bar. Happy Easter to you too. Um, Sean in Massachusetts reporting in saying good night. Uh, as I've been watching and listening to VORWs for years, you're my favorite YouTube content creator, arguably the most consistent creator out there. Good night from Sean in Massachusetts. Good night to you, Sean. And a very happy Easter to you as well. Um, hey man, just letting you know you're an absolute legend. Visit Australia when you can and try a Bunnings snag. Uh, sending love from the land down under. Well, I don't really know what that is, so I don't know if I would... Um, let's see what that is. Oh, that's a... Uh, okay. Like a little bit of... Uh, all right. All right, well, if I ever find myself in Australia, you never know. Uh, I had a few more. Chris, uh, he's checking in. The Amtrak view is great. Uh, more similar coming. Uh, well, you never know. When I did the Amtrak review, it was something that I was was um, was thinking about. You know, I, I set up the camera. I was kind of just documenting my travels, and when I when I first did the Amtrak review. There is a big issue with the sound, for whatever reason, and it's not an issue anymore, I guess it just kind of self-corrected or whatever it was. The camera that I, uh, that I use, it's on my phone, it's a great camera, wonderful camera. But for some reason, when I was on the train and I was trying to do the, uh, the video from my little, my little viewliner roomette, for some reason the noise of the train going over the tracks was, I don't know, it was distorting the sound on the camera so much, and I didn't under, understand, you know, what was going on until I got to my destination, reviewed the footage, and then I realized, oh, snap! Uh, you know, we, we, I did all this footage on this, on this train, and the sound is unusable. I mean, all of it is completely unusable. So I had to improvise, I had to just mute it, and do a voiceover, because it, it, again, it was just a big calamity, you could even say. That was unforeseen, and, uh, you know, it was a, uh, I, I improvised, but I think it, I think it was good for what it was, at least. And then after that, I branched out, I did the JetBlue review, which unfortunately didn't really work out. Um, I mean, I put it together nicely, but when I, when I, uh, uploaded it, it just, you know, but it was still, it was still fun. Um, it was still a lot of fun to do. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, Sandy, well, thank you for your contribution, but no thanks for your message. I'm going to remove that one. Um, let's see what else. Um, I, Jonathan, I don't really understand your, your question. Um, I don't understand what that means. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, hey, I love your content. It's clean humor mixed with a, with class and a breath of fresh air on YouTube. Have you ever watched Abbott and Costello? Yep. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's old school, but it's, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's really nice. It's, it's one of those things. I remember once I was watching some TV, was flipping through the channels late night. And uh, I think it was an Abbott and Costello film from the 30s. Maybe it was the 30s or 40s. Uh, but, you know, they were, they're were they funny in the extent that a lot of their humor still, still, uh, still, still is funny today. You know, you see some movies or whatever from the 40s and, 
you know, it's it's not uh, it's not really, you know, it's like it doesn't really connect with you today. But a lot of their humor I still found funny, even in this in this day and age, as they say. Uh, all right, last few ones. Um, I think I'll I'll wrap it up. This guy's checking in. Happy Easter from New Zealand. Happy Easter to you. Hope everything's going well over there. Uh, New Zealand, you guys have a great shortwave station, Radio New Zealand International. Um, been uh, going great. Um, oh, oh, okay, Jonathan, he says, again, it's a silence of the lamb. Okay, I thought it was something else. Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Um, let's see what else we got. Mr. Smoke checking in. Thanks for calming my anxiety. Much love, thank you. And uh, Caleb, but... Uh, Checking in. What's your favorite quote catchphrase that's been attributed to you? Mine is Gween. Have a good week and thank you. Um, honestly, I don't have a favorite quote of my own. You know, it's not like I have a book where I write down everything that I say and have a favorite one. Um, rather, it's just, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I, really, I really don't have a favorite quote of my own. Uh, I know a lot of people like the disappointment one. Um, back in 2013, of course, it was, uh, the is what it is, right? The glory days. And, uh, you know, it's Queen. That's going back from 2011. Uh, but I don't have a favorite, favorite, uh, quote of, of my own. All right. I think I'm going to wrap it up pretty soon. Uh, let's just get a few last ones in. Uh, Taylor, uh, thank you from Arizona getting in. Getting into shortwave radio now, looking to make my own show soon. Well, thank you, Taylor. Um, I always advise, if, if you're feeling it, uh, get a show out there on shortwave. Um, it's easier than you think. I think it's a better deal than AM, honestly. I was checking some AM stations. I was thinking of buying some airtime on AM. And the rate is ridiculous. Uh, you know, you might get an AM station that's 500 watts, which is nothing. You consider the especially in urban areas, the noise floor, how staticky it is. Um, a 500-watt AM station will barely get out anywhere. And they'll try to market it. They'll try to say, yeah, well, um, every house has an AM radio, and every car has an AM radio, and, and you could reach millions. Um, but the fact of the matter is, with a lot of AM stations, especially the smaller ones, most people aren't going to tune into them. The signal is going to be too weak in the first place. And while someone can laud about the fact that well, every car has an AM radio, doesn't mean most people are going to be tuning into that station at all. You know, I did some comparisons, some smaller AM stations that were maybe 500 watts in comparison to the big 50 kilowatt stations like, uh, you know, WCBS 880, WOR, um, WWVA, etc., um, I was looking up some of the smaller stations that still have these extremely high airtime rates for like, uh, you know, like $500 an hour, which is crazy. I was checking their social media, you know, you check these stations to see, all right, well, uh, how many people are talking about this station on Twitter? How many people are going on Facebook and talking about listening to this little station? And you realize, uh, no one. So that means, all right, if I were to go on an experiment and blow all this money, uh, I might not even hear from one single person. Um, the signal's not going to be very good. It, it's just, the, the thing is, it's just not a good, I think just, here's what I'll say, I think shortwave is a better way to expend money to get a show out there. You're getting a higher power transmitter, you're covering a much larger distance. Now think of it this way, instead of just covering a small little locality for $500, you're covering the entire continent with a potential audience in the hundreds of millions. And of all those hundreds of millions of people, maybe only one in every 30,000, 40,000, even 50,000 might be scanning around on shortwave at that very minute. But you think about it still, even, that, even though that's a very small number, when you're reaching hundreds of millions of people, that adds up and you're getting a much larger audience than you would on low power AM stations with charge uh, an exponentially higher rate. All right, anyway, I'm done with that. Um, a few last, uh, a few last ones. 
Um, Matt checking in. Thank you, Matt. Noah checking in. Thank you, Noah. Um, Will writes in, would you consider receiving my album when it's finished? That'd be cool. Well, uh, you could send me an online link to it. Might give it a listen. Let's see if we got anything else. Um... Well, a lot of people are into Whataburger tonight. Is a Whataburger review possible? Uh, if I find myself in the area where uh, where Whataburger is located, um, it's possible. But there aren't any Whataburgers nearby. Um, so that's just where it stands. But if I find myself near a Whataburger, uh, you know, I'll give it a shot. Maybe do a Whataburger review. I'd be interested in seeing what it tastes like. And that's pretty much that. Well, it's 12.50. I've been going for almost, let me see, almost three hours at this point in time. Uh, not quite, but almost. Um, a few last shout-outs. Um, thanks for uploading your broadcasts on SoundCloud. My pleasure. I try to get them out there uh, via whatever, whatever means I can. Um, Nancy checking in. My family and I are big VORW fans. Can you give my kids, uh, Layla, Joe, and Logan a shout-out? My daughter is in kindergarten and talks about the podcast to her class. Well, it's great to have uh, an audience of, uh, of all, all ages, right? And, uh, yeah, I'm going to remove that message right there. Um, and, uh... What is your ultimate goal in life? Uh, you know, I don't really, I don't really set any goals in that, in that respect. When I look at where things are right now, it's, it's already more than I ever, ever, ever expected um, to have ever done in my entire life. Uh, so it's just, uh, I, I don't really have any goals. I just, I suppose, just to try and just live my life, try and be the best person I can be, just try and treat others, and, and you know, if, if I ever had the opportunity, maybe do a little good in the world, try and help out a few other people that, you know, that, that might need it, if I ever had that chance, but, you know, I can't, uh, you know, I'm not one to say, yeah, my goal is to do uh, this, 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 and this before I die, you know, because, you know, Let's face it, another obvious reality is uh, there, there's no guarantee you're going to be living till 100, you know? You, you, you never know when the time will come, and, you know, you just, you, uh, you never know. And I'm, I'm not saying that you should therefore live uh, extremely hedonistically and say, yeah, well, I might die tomorrow, so, yeah, let me go on a binge and spend everything I have. No, I'm not saying that. You know, just to try and be the best person you can be and even... Even, you know, respect and and take a look at the small things in life, you know, the people that are closest to you and show them love and appreciation and show others that also. All right, well, I know a lot more people, I'm sure, have questions and comments and, uh, and, and various things they'd like to talk about, but I've been, uh, I've been doing the stream for a while. Um, it's getting pretty late, so I think I'm going to wrap things up soon. Um... I'm just going to kind of wrap things up at this point, uh, close up shop. It's almost 1 a.m., but I've been having a lot of a lot of fun, a lot of fun doing this stream. I think this is the, the longest uh, live stream I've done yet. Uh, I could certainly keep this thing going. I could probably talk for another two hours or so, but uh, I want to give all of you guys some peace and quiet and uh, give myself a little chance to recharge as well, because after I do these streams, I always feel quite... Um, quite exhausted and quite quite tired admittedly uh, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up and uh, and that'll be that uh, a few last things I do want to promote I understand tomorrow's Easter actually it's well it's Easter right now for me it's 1253 um, and for a lot of you it's Easter um, tomorrow granted is gonna be Easter I know a lot of you are, are gonna be busy tomorrow you're gonna have a lot of things to do um, well, I'm sure a lot of you have maybe family outings, Easter dinners, Easter Easter suppers, Easter meals, Easter religious services, etc. You know, um, but if any of you are interested, 
Uh, keep in mind, I'm still going to have the shortwave broadcasts tomorrow, as I do every Sunday. Uh, if you're a shortwave listener, you want to get into it, um, remember, tune in 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, 93.95 kilohertz. That's up the East Coast. At 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, tune in on 77.80 kilohertz. That's up the East Coast and also goes into Europe. Um, if you're in the southwestern U.S. at 5 p.m., tune in on 94.55 kilohertz. And at 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, uh, also check in um, 58.50 kilohertz for um, all of North America covered, um, 59.50 kilohertz for Florida and the Caribbean, and 77.80 kilohertz to Europe. Those are the repeat airings of the Thursday broadcast, so if you've got nothing going on tomorrow, you want to break out the shortwave radio, uh, want to annoy your relatives while they're trying to enjoy the Easter, um, want to break out the web SDR or the online radio, check it out. They're there. They're not, you know, they're not, they're not taking a break for Easter. They'll be airing as they always have been and always will be. Um, I always recommend you get a shortwave radio. Check out the Amazon affiliate link. I think shortwave radio is a very useful thing in today's day and age. People might say it's an antiquated technology, but it's still got a place in 2018. And uh, anyway, if you want to get a shortwave radio, check it out in the Amazon affiliate link uh, in the description there. And also, of course, uh, if you want any more information on my show, any frequencies, broadcast schedules, uh, send me an email, vorwinfo at gmail.com. Um, where you'll get a, I could send you a broadcast schedule there. You can also find the show on SoundCloud, too. It's on SoundCloud. And uh, during the week, broadcast on TuneIn, also TuneIn Streams. Uh, and also, again, I, I, I alluded to this earlier in the stream, but keep in mind... On the Teespring store, coming up soon. It's not out yet, but coming up soon, going to get some new merchandise out. Um, it's going to be, the disappointment is immeasurable. My day is, is ruined. Um, it's going to be a shirt with that phrase on it and picture too. Um, it's going to be coming out soon. It's going to be coming out soon. Uh, so I hope you like it. And once it's out, I'll promote it. I'll let you all know. And, um, and that's where that stands. Uh, all right, with that being said, going to do just the last few super chats, and uh, then I'm done. I'm done for the evening. Um, so let's see if there's any last ones that came in. Uh, Mercury Flower checking in. Thank you. Um, have a happy Easter review, bro. Take care. Hope the best for you and yours. Thank you, you too. And uh, all right, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you all. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed the live stream, the live talk, the Q&A, and everything that was uh, included therein. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a fun time. I certainly had a fun time just chatting it up with all of you, answering your questions. And uh, thank you to all those of you who participated um, in the chat or the super chat or any of that. Um, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for being here. Had a lot of fun doing this live stream. Hope you had a lot of fun watching it. And... Uh, Again, next live stream is probably going to be later in April. I, again, as I said, I do this on a monthly basis, basis for the most part. So that's when it's probably going to be. Um, but stay tuned. You never know when a live stream might be coming up. Uh, but just stay tuned to that. And uh, hope you enjoyed this stream. So thank you all for tuning in. Uh, take care. Have a very happy Easter. Hope it goes over wonderfully. And uh, with that being said, I conclude this live stream. Thank you all for watching. Take care. I'm your host, Report of the Week. And again, have a happy Easter. That is all.